Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. It's Thanksgiving special. <laughs> no, I Did you already forget? I'm well aware, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, what is Happy up? birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kaylee. Happy birthday to you. That's Kaylee? Yeah. What happened to your other account? Um, I don't know what happened to her other account. Thanks for following our channel again. <laughs> What's the OG? But she has turned 16 today. That, uh, the boobies. What are we talking about in the chat today? I don't know what's going on. Happy birthday, Kaylee. I don't know. Kaylee and I have a, uh, tense relationship oh, I'm, through these, through these Twitch streams. I'm Not very... these Twitch streams particularly, but the Among Us Twitch streams. You got kicked out again. Hmm. I'm sorry. That sucks. <laughs> I'm assuming she just means her account. Probably. Not like her house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new day. Yes, it is. Wakey, wakey. Time to get up. Good morning, citizens. Open a damn fresh and shine. This is your wake up call, people. Come on. The coffee's on. Oh, uh, how is everybody doing tonight? Guys, it's been a week, mostly for Mo. It has been the longest week in education history uh but it's been a week for me too because this was the first week daedra went back to work and now i'm the sole watcher of the baby to keep her alive during eight to five every day a sole caretaker mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sweet little gnat mm -hmm. it's been all right Natty it's, fee. it's hard to get stuff done i've had to start waking up at 5 a.m so i could have a couple hours before everybody else wakes up to get some stuff done because most of my day will be holding this baby and trying to work one-handed and it's much lower she's not needy is she she's very needy <laughs> she's a girl <laughs> she rolled over for the first time today Aww. it was adorable did she scare herself she did not hey she was that's cool a good with it. thing yeah, she was cool with it that's a good thing good for her she was like whoop Awesome. I can see the TV now. <laughs> uh, but we got a we got a fun show today, guys, and the whole show is gonna be uh, the whole show is gonna be broadcasted on Twitch. And uh, before we get started, uh, those of you who are here early get to jump in first. I'm not so like tired really, right now. Not like it's really gonna matter, but. <laughs> But we are running a, uh, a giveaway tonight where uh, there's three prizes. We'll draw three names. The first prize is a, is a pack of stickers. And uh, we have some, we have a couple new stickers. I want to show one of them. Which one? The, the That one. Yeah. Got this brand new one. The very deeper inside joke sticker. Very deeper. That will be a part of that sticker pack. Very. We're very deeper. excited. We have been referencing this joke for years, years, the Legit entirety of the, the podcast and show. <laughs> and uh, nope, it says deeper, deeper, very deeper. Dapper would probably be too um, too complimentary. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. He might. I was going to say, I don't know how Kevin would feel about being called dapper. But <laughs> I think he'd like it. That sounds like a word he'd use. Yeah, you're probably right. Second prize. He also would say very deeper, though. So, <laughs> yeah, you know. that's true. Second prize is the last ever copy of the Sunday School Answers LTN Con 2021 Booster Pack. There's one copy remaining. And it will be yours if you get second prize. And then the first prize, you will get a full copy of Sunday School Answers Christmas Edition. Now back in stock at backrowgames.com. It's probably the best one that we have. It's really fun. It's really fun. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, most Subtle Flex right there. Uh, but you'll be getting that if you I win. Mean, my name's I not haven't even started on it, it anywhere yet. Or I haven't anything. started like, it yet. That, no, that's I didn't. The thing yeah. that, Wait, like... no, hold on. I thought I put you on here somewhere. Did I not? Maybe not. 
No. I put you I on no the announcement. I get no credit for the things I do. I put you on the announcement Good for it. grief. <laughs> My name's not on any of them. It well, should be. Michael Mordenga's name's on all of them. <laughs> of course it is. All right. I'm going to start the giveaway. Right. Hold on before I do that. <laughs> uh, you can only get one ticket. You'll hit exclamation point dibs or exclamation point ticket. But uh, if you are a subscriber to our channel, your odds go up twofold. You have twice the chance of winning as just a normal follower. So, so subscribe. I know most of our watchers have subscribed, so good on you. But if you by chance are one that has not, now's the time. And giveaway's going right now. Ba 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 ba. So, we're already ticket, in. ticket, already ticket, dibs. ticket, 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 dibs. ticket, 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 dibs. So they're coming in. We will continue announcing that in between segments, and uh, we will give away uh, the prizes at the uh, end of the show. Okay. I don't know why it's not giving y'all notification. The end of but the show. As ev we know everybody it. who has put in the thing is on the list. It's supposed to be saying you've successfully yeah. entered, but it's not saying that. I don't know why, but uh, so far we got four entries. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Let's get started. We got a lot. We got a lot we're gonna do today. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be another one of those like uh, like the 400th episode where we just had a whole bunch of fun. So I'm excited. I know Mo's excited, even though she's tired. Uh, so we're gonna dive in. And um, if Grayson is not here by the time we get to the game time, which won't be long from now, Oriel, are you uh, good to uh, 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 jump in uh, Grayson's place and uh, face off against Mo again? Oh, 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 oh. All right, cool. All right. Let's get Let's get it started. Yeah, oh. that's the one. <clears throat> <laughs> gobble gobble nerds. Welcome to the back row Thanksgiving special. Holiday special from the Love Thy Nerd Podcast Network and the official exclusive morning show for LTN Radio. I'm Radio Matt, the station manager and chief radio nerd. I'm a husband, a father of three, a Green Lantern fan, and a Funko Pop collector. And I'm Mo. A lot of things wrapped up in one small but loud package. Your very own casserole of a co-host doing my best to bring the best, but one thing I'm not is good at math. Like I said, today is our Thanksgiving special, and we're celebrating thankfulness today with our friends. Uh huh. Also on the show, Matt and I will be taking the Turkey Dinner Candy Corn 2021 Challenge. Woo! You gotta I call it a challenge. Very excited about it. You gotta it. call it a challenge so people will do it a lot on the on the TikToks and the Twitches and all over the place. I'm also very upset with you because you did not inform me that you were changing your intro and did not give me an opportunity to change my intro. So I'm going to be rocks, honest with Matt. you. That's my kick old rocks. intro. And I didn't even notice that it was the old one <laughs> until just this moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but first today is Thursday, November 25th, 2021. And we got some holidays to celebrate. That's right. It's National Family Health History Day. So know your family's health history. That's a it's important. perfect day to land on Thanksgiving. Well, it's necessary to land on Thanksgiving. Any heart disease? In your exactly. Family? Any history of diabetes? Nobody wants to think about that on Thanksgiving. That's when you need to be thinking about it. <laughs> Obesity running your family. Like, that's what I'm saying. Um, but it's also National Parfait Day. I mean, there we go. Now we're talking. Parfaits Who doesn't like players? parfaits? <laughs> And delicious. <laughs> of course, it is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So give thanks <laughs> with a grateful heart. <clears throat> give so, thanks to the only one. So we had a bit of a break. I'm going to cut you off before you read all the lyrics. Uh, <laughs> we had a bit of a break while we uh, we ran a bunch of our or all of our LTN Con um, sessions last week in place of the morning show. So how's your uh, how's your week off been? 
It was definitely not a week off. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Yes, it was nice to not have to record or prepare or anything. But, you know, I learned this past week that this is like a nice little topper to a week for me. Because for those of you listening who don't know, we record on Friday nights. Anyway, um, so spoiler alert in case you weren't aware. Anyway, so ruining the magic recording <laughs> for this is a nice little w way to end the week and enter into a weekend, especially when it was a crazy week mm. like this past one. <laughs> I did not realize like how crazy kids get when they know a break is coming up. Mm. Monday started out insane, insane. And every day thereafter just got a little bit more crazy, a little bit more ballistic. I don't know how I survived, honestly. I don't understand why. I don't know how I survived, and I don't know how I continued to make it fun, especially <laughs> when every class, as they're leaving, they're like, bye, Miss Mo. And usually I'm like, bye, guys. See you later. And they're like, this time I was like, mm -hmm, bye. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I don't want you in my library anymore. <laughs> You're all a bunch of turds. Well, I got to go on a vacation. Uh, it was my wife's last week of maternity leave. Uh, and we, we went on a vacation with my father-in-law. And uh, he brought his trailer, his big camper, big RV. We went to a nice KOA about 40 minutes outside of Denver, Colorado. That's where we wound up going. And... Uh, was it cold? It was not. Oh, okay. There's one day where it was a little chilly, but it wasn't like, it wasn't cold like you think Colorado was cold. Yeah. Typically. Uh, we were in a good spot there. Good. So we did a lot of fun things. We went, most of it was for the kids, but, um, you know, we went to a uh, new Meow Wolf mm -hmm. exhibit, the newest one. It just opened up in August. Uh, Meow Wolf, for those of you who don't know, is a, it's like a large building sized immersive art exhibit. Uh, and the first one was in Santa Fe, New Mexico. That's like the, that's the, the house of eternal return or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really cool. It's nuts to walk through. Then the second one opened up in Las Vegas at uh, Area 15. And that one's called Omega Mart. And you might have seen more of that, like on YouTube or whatever, Omega Mart. Uh, if not, check it out. Uh, I recommend the, uh, I don't know, if, I guess it's maybe Game Theory or Food Theory? I don't know. The Theory Channels uh, video on Omega Mart. Uh, but this one's Convergence Station. And this one's like... I don't even know, I don't even really know how to explain the theme. But it's like, in some areas, you're shrunk down to like the size of a germ. In other areas, you're this giant thing and there's planets like the size of germs. It's like a really weird, nuts Sounds like Alice place. in Wonderland to me. It's really cool. It was really, really cool. I was afraid uh, my youngest boy would be like too scared because like, when I mean immersive, I mean immersive. Like mm. you cannot tell you're in a normal building. Yeah. It's kind of freaky. Uh, but he made it. He survived. Uh, it was really neat. It's really neat stuff. Um, other than that, we did um, just some normal stuff. We took them to Urban Air, which is like a trampoline mm -hmm. park thing, mm -hmm. and Children's Museum there. Um, Denver has a zoo, right? Did y'all do it? It has zoo? a zoo. We decided not to uh, buy because everything you have to buy tickets for now because yeah. you got to come in like at a staggered pace. Yeah. And so we thought that it might be too cold, so we didn't do that. But we did go to their aquarium, which is gigantic and beautiful. Yeah. Um, the uh, the only thing that went wrong was um, the sleeping arrangements. Now, you already know I don't like camping. Right, right. but this isn't camping. You weren't in a camping. tent. We you were, were in a camper. We were in a very comfortable camper. Yeah. Okay? Unfortunately, camping. <laughs> I am not just big. But also tall. I'm big and tall. <laughs> He's the reason for the store. <laughs> and so I can't, I can't fit on like the kid fold out beds or anything. Uh, so our kids are on them. Greg's in the in the master, master bedroom there. Mm -hmm. 
Daedra was already planning on sitting up in a chair with the baby like she does at home to sleep. And so my only option was, at the time, to sit next to her in this little love seat couch thing and try and sleep also in like a reclining situation. That worked for about 30 minutes until I needed to move my body. Yeah. At all. And I couldn't without waking her up. So I uh, I got up and I'm like, I'm just going to lie on the floor. I was wondering if so that was. So I like, I lie on the floor, but there's like not enough room for me to be here unless I shove my body underneath the pull out couch bed uh-huh. that my boys are on. So yeah. I try and do that, but my gut's too big. So I'm like stuck halfway in there with my head up on the other couch on the other side. I'm like, nope, this isn't going to work either. <laughs> so <laughs> I get the two the two cushions from the back of the couch that were taken off already. Uh I put them down and then I get the two other ones from the other couch and put them down and I make a nice little mattress. Yeah. I lie down on the thing. I'm like, this is pretty comfortable. And I fit okay. You know, my legs are a little uh, close to my chest, but they're uh, there. It's good enough. It's comfortable. I've slept in worse. So I'm lying down there and I fall asleep for about 45 minutes. I wake up with the driest mouth anyone has ever felt. Because I was four inches away from the heater (laughs) on the floor. (laughs) (laughs) So after struggling with that and chugging two bottles of water and then needing to go pee, uh, I said, well, forget this. So I went out. I went to the the bathrooms at the KOA and I'm like, I'm just going to sleep in the van. So I got my car keys and I started the van up and I got it all warm and I'm just trying to sleep out there. I sleep maybe 20 minutes and then I am awake for the next four hours, unable to even pass out from exhaustion. So by the time we get up in the morning, uh, get up, <laughs> by the time they're all up and I'm able to go back inside the RV, I tell Deidre, yeah, it's not happening again. <laughs> I'm going to go stay in a hotel. <laughs> you can come with me if you want. Or not, but I'm going to do it. But like I said, we were 45 minutes outside of Denver. So every night, once we were done with everything, I still had to drive 45 minutes back into town to go stay at the hotel at a Hyatt. But uh, it was dang worth it because I slept every night. Good for it you. It was wonderful. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> tried a Mr. Beast Burger, by the way. I was there. It Good was, for uh, you. Not that great. <clears throat> oh. It was a little disappointing. Fries were on point, but everything else just kind of like kind of disgusting. But uh, I mean, not disgusting, just like not worth why it. Why the hype? Yeah, why the hype? That's fair. Uh, so it was nice. We had fun though. Overall, it was a fantastic trip. Um, boys had a great time, and uh, yeah, it'll probably be the last vacation we take for a while because <laughs> it costs us a lot of money. That's fair. Every vacation costs so much money. You don't realize it until you're an adult just how much money a vacation costs, especially for a full family. Do you know, though, I think that's, and I've said this so many times, I think that's why I prefer cruising because up front, yes, it costs a lot of money, but you're pretty much done. Once you pay for it, that's it. Yeah, there's no like hidden stuff. Yeah. Like Deidre and I plan, all right, let's try and do this in a thousand dollars. I'm like, nope. Wound up being 2500 and something by the end of it. Like, yeah. Oh, there's just so much we didn't plan for, including uh, three nights at a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, when you're on a cruise, everything is taken care of already. Yeah. So. Yeah. You can even book all of your excursions and everything before you go. So then for real, for real, all of your stuff is paid for. You can even prepay all your like tipping and uh-huh. everything. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that on the cruise yep. either. Yeah. Uh-huh. There were some things that were pretty convenient. I love cruising. Plus, like nonstop bacon all the time. A uh, nonstop ice cream <laughs> nonstop all ice the cream. time. All the time. Mm-hmm. There were some good things. Yeah. My cruise was not great overall, but uh, there were some, some bright spots. You know, spots. it usually adds up to some sort of sleeping issue for you as to why vacations are not Well, good. this wasn't that one. I thought that it was. I thought... No, I mean, no. there was an issue, but I still slept. I'm like, we got sleep. Okay. The issue was the hurricane that had just come through the oh, week that's before, right. that's which right. they wouldn't allow us to cancel our cruise for, had uh, taken out all the areas we were supposed to stop and was still causing the sea to be super rocky where yeah. you couldn't even walk down the halls without falling over. So, yeah. 
So that. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm not like, I'm not a seasick person and I didn't get seasick uh, with the waves and everything crashing the boat around, but uh, it's still pretty hard to enjoy things. <laughs> but I will say, you know what? Sleeping actually is kind of better with the rocking because <laughs> we were in the right, we were rocking the right direction. Yes. We were rocking side to side. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. It's like it's real nice. being in the womb again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if you have an interior room, then it's super dark. You don't have to worry about. We didn't have an interior room, but we did have the balcony off the back. Yeah. So we got to watch the, like the trail of the, that was. Dang, beautiful. you got the real nice beautiful. balcony then. Yeah, it was real Ooh. beautiful. I mean, it was just, it was small. Balcony was about the size of our table here, <laughs> but still, it was yeah. cool to see. Okay, okay. Enough stalling. Let's play some games. Today is a special day uh, that most of you are spending with your families. And at some point, we know you're going to need a break. We so all do. we're airing the show four different times today and putting it on the podcast early in the day so you can pop in an earbud and join the back row buds as we have a little fun today mm-hmm. whenever you see fit. Uh, and the first way we're going to do that is by playing a couple games with some of our friends. Um, our now, friends are friends. Scheduled for this game I don't was think he's in. our buddy Grayson, but I don't think he's here. I if don't you're think here, he now's it. the time to tell us. Otherwise, your spot is being taken. Maybe, um, uh, maybe we should do your game first. How about we do uh, the game uh, you're leading first? Give him a little bit more time. Because he said it, it, he said he might not get here until like 45 minutes into our session, and we're 15 minutes away from that. So it might give him enough time to jump in. All right, fine, whatever. All right, so (laughs) first game instead uh, is going to be uh, me versus KY Redhead. K to the Y. So KY, if you want to jump in our chat, where is it at? There it is. Jump in the chat, and uh, we'll get started. (laughs) I should have brought another sticker for toffee. I only brought one. Whoops. Why were you supposed to bring two? Well, he's commenting in the Discord that he needs. Oh. <laughs> he needs it. The very deeper one? The very deeper one, yeah. Very deeper. I need it. <clears throat> boom. Boom, boom. We're just waiting on KY to jump in. She said, give her a sec. We're going to uh-huh. do that. Uh-huh. Guess I'll get the app ready. Hey! Oh my gosh, that scared me a little. (laughs) (laughs) I I peed a little bit. (laughs) Hard pass. Hard pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to use my phone because I have it. Oh, you have the app. I didn't use yours. Okay. All right. So uh, explain the game, Mo. Um. So it's it's an oldie. It's one that Matt and I have played several times. An Uh-oh. oldie, but a goodie. Um, it's simply because I was supposed to prepare something, but my week was crazy, and therefore I did not prepare. <laughs> so we are going to play Would You Rather. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So, oh, no. <laughs> Stop it. It's not TikTok. Um, so oh, no, no, no. The, uh, the rules of this game are we are read two different Would You Rather scenarios, and our goal is not to pick which one we would rather, but what we think most people have chosen. What demographic was pulled for this? Quiz? We have it's no all, it's idea. It's all ages and all. Like it breaks it down for us afterwards. Oh, that's like true, how yeah. many men and women and like what age group and everything answered, but we have no idea beforehand. So, like, who did it? Like, was it BuzzFeed? Was no, it no, no. It's an app all of its own. Oh, okay. Yeah. So people who would likely use an app for this particular purpose. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That helps. <laughs> you think not my would. age group usually <laughs> <laughs> that's fair yep okay. all right are we ready are we doing a uh, oh, seven no. each or what are we doing we will do seven each and, and since ky is our guest ky would you like to go first or would you like matt to go first oh my gosh um oh i don't know i guess is there a disadvantage <laughs> there's <laughs> one the there's really not i have a okay. theory but all right <laughs> Age before beauty, so I'll go first. Okay. Age before... She just said that you were prettier than her. I mean, it's wrong, but aw. 
That's well, I'm kind of lumping Matt and Mo together, so you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Are you doing them all at once? Or yes, you back I will forth? read KY7. Okay. She will do her seven first, okay. and then you will go. All, all, right. Right, all right. My kids are bigger Radio Matt fans than they are fans of Mom sometimes, so we'll go. I <laughs> really thought you were going to say than they are of Mo, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> all right. KY, would you rather live a bad life but be remembered after you die or live an awesome life but be forgotten after you die? So we're contrasting bad and awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and remembered um, and forgotten. <laughs> what is a bad life? I'm going to say the forgotten one. You would rather be, you would rather live an awesome life, but be forgotten. Yes. You are correct. Yeah. By 62%. 62% agreed. All right. Would you rather have five ex spouses or <laughs> never get married? <laughs> wow. Oh, I got so many jokes here, but I can't. They're, they're mean. <laughs> this is you, KY. Oh, I thought I thought it was alternating. No, no, no. no. She's going to read all seven for oh, you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I totally misunderstood. Okay, no worries. So I'm, I'll, I'll go. I'll go unmarried. Never get married. All right. Yep, you're correct. Fifty-four percent. I would have gotten that one wrong. Really? Yeah. Listen to Paul. I assumed. I assumed everyone else was like, "That's just how marriage is." <laughs> Everybody's got five spouses. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. All right. Would you rather be telepathic or telekinetic? Oh, this is hard. See, I think people would say one thing, but I don't think they really get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, I think, I, now this is not my official answer. I think people would say telepathic just off the cuff, but I think if they really understood, like, you really don't want to hear everybody's thoughts, they right. would not choose that. Yeah. Um, so should I assume people have really like put some big thought into this before they answered? Um, you also I'm have to gonna, weigh whether or not they say, would know what telekinetic means. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, can I phone a friend? Can I ask a <laughs> no. no, no, you can't. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna say that people would rather be telekinetic. Telekinetic. Oh, hold Ooh, on, 50, it's fifty-fifty. So it comes down to the votes. If they actually knew what telekinetic uh, I would totally choose telekinetic. Yeah, <laughs> so more people actually voted for telepathic. So, sorry. But did they, though? You, I'm, yeah. I'm actually, I'm, I'm thinking they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't know. They didn't know. They All didn't. right. This is number <laughs> four. Hearts. Number four of seven. You've got two correct. Would okay. you rather never again listen to music or... Lose hand. Uh huh. That that's what it says. <laughs> like like literally lose a hand. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lose hand. Never listen to music again. I mean. A, yeah. But a surprisingly low <laughs> yeah. number amount. Yeah, fifty six percent. It was I think not. That'd be a solid nineties right? somewhere around there. You would think the margin oh would word. have been bigger, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, would you rather always disappoint people or always anger people? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. boy, I'm gonna say wow. Okay, so hmm, like if I'm already used to disappointing people, would I just choose that? Anyway? Right. I mean, <laughs> um, gosh. Okay, my husband has no idea what's going on. He just hears my side. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna say always anger people. Oh, no. 51% no. said disappoint. Wow. So it was really wow. close. Really close. That's sad. That is That's sad. <laughs> okay. We got an ad. So we're just going to wait a little bit here. And I you can't now stop it. it. Okay. There we wait go. Wait the five seconds. That's what the countdown's for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to punch you. <laughs> All right. What is this? Number six? Yeah. Okay. Number six. Would you rather be forced to dance every time you hear music or be forced to sing along to any song you hear? Like I don't do both already. I was thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, forced to dance because I think more people are afraid of singing. Hmm. Really? 
Oh, no. Wow, that was a Again, it was another t- another close one. It was 46% that wow. said dance, but 54 said sing. I hope all of his are like 48 and You think 52%. You think that more right? people would be afraid of singing than dancing? Yes. As a, as a singer, I can definitely say there are more people who think they can't sing than there are people who are afraid to bop to a song. Yeah. yeah. Bop. As, as a singer myself. Because when people myself. hear that I sing, they're like, oh, I could never <laughs> sing. And then a lot of people, hmm. you know, can hum or sing. But I still feel like they'd be more willing to sing along to something than they would to just Not straight sober. up dance. <laughs> uh, what? Sober. sober. <laughs> well, it didn't specify. It didn't specify, Matt. That's, that is true. All right. Last one, KY. You've got three correct and three incorrect. All right. Would yeah. you rather have the power to make anyone fall in love with you or be able to read minds? Well, I feel like there have been many plays about this. Um, okay. So I'm going to say read minds. Let's go with read minds on this one. Correct. Good job. Very, very good. All right. All so right. I got to be Thank four. You. All right. You ready, feel free, Matthew? Feel free to heckle me throughout KY. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, don't worry. For this. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Would you rather be feared by all or be loved by all? <laughs> I'd rather I'd people be, be afraid of how much they love Feared by me. all. Uh, no, loved by all. Loved Clearly. by all? Clearly. Yeah, 84%. A clear answer. See, that's totally under. <laughs> what the heck? This is rigged. Uh, yeah. You sound like Mo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather go to an expensive restaurant with great food or go to a cheaper restaurant with a relaxed atmosphere and okay food? What the what heck the is heck this? Is this? <laughs> it's the, all about the atmosphere. The second they one. They would rather get punched in the face or given a cookie. Right. <laughs> the second one. Yeah, 56%. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Would you rather sleep two hours every day or sleep 20 hours every day? Oh. Oh. oh okay, that's a hard one. That's current situation. Right? right? Like, I'm already only double that. Uh, <laughs> uh, shoot. So, if you slept two hours every day, you would barely be able to function. But you'd have so much time for activities. If you <laughs> slept 20 hours a day, you'd have to cram your entire life. Into, into four, four hours. hours. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Not only that, but when you sleep for that long, like it's not beneficial. Like, right. You're, yeah. You're, you're forcing and... yourself to sleep. It's more work for your body to make you sleep. Mm-hmm. I am going to bank on laziness and say that 20 hours is what people said. No. <gasps> I was wrong. 59% said Ooh. sleep two hours every Who day. Wants to be awake that for 22 young hours. Saying that. That, that is, is young, young people, people for sure. That. I'm just going to say, as a buddy daddy. That's... <laughs> yeah. At this point, they're like, I can do that. I do that all the time anyway. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, would you rather, yeah. oh, Matthew, <laughs> would you rather <laughs> eat pineapple pizza Uh-oh. or <laughs> eat fries dipped in ice cream? Oh, heck yeah, that one. What? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Have Fact. you never had a French fry dipped in like a frosty? Oh, Wendy's? it's delicious. Hot ah, dang, it's good. It is good. <laughs> All right. Would you rather? Oh, wow. there's another ad. Okay. Another this time you ad. wait for the countdown. Would you? Hush? And then the excellent. There, but there's there's noise. <laughs> Don't just randomly click on it. <laughs> be quiet. Would you rather only be able to take photos or only be able to film? That's a weird one. That's an easy there's one. There's no. Uh, there's no stakes here. <laughs> yeah, there is no stakes, but I feel like it's easy if you I really actually photos, think yeah. about it. Photos, right? You say photos? Yeah. Okay. That's not what I was saying. Is that what said. you're going to say? No. Do you want me to click? I'm clicking photos. Uh, yeah, photos. Yeah. Oh, I was wrong. Video. Because you can stop a video and then take a still shot, and then you have your photo. I feel like that's video. taking photos, though. You can't but just. But it's not. You still can't. Yeah. No, you're like, taking I feel like the you video. You can the shutter really, really fast and get like. You know. Yeah, exactly. I think think that's cheating. I think that's cheating. cheating. (laughs) It's not. You're taking a photo of a video. That's still taking a photo. (laughs) No. (laughs) Take an infinitesimally short video of the video. Yeah, it's pausing a video. And then holding on to the pause. Yeah, exactly. Uh (laughs) All right. Would you rather? Wow. Hold on. By the way, we're tracking exactly the same. 
Yes. <laughs> correct, correct, yes. incorrect, oh correct, incorrect. There's two left. I have to get both of these right. <laughs> yep. That's funny. All right, here you go. Would you rather fast car or luxury car? <laughs> Would I rather fast car or luxury <laughs> car? Hmm. That's how it's written. They're too fast, they're too fast for verbs. And I would rather yeah. luxury car. 61% agree. Oh, okay. All right. So we're tied. So you already can't oh, like boy. win. But I might be able to beat you. Thanks. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather wear smartwatch or wear analog watch? What? what? Garbage yeah. Smartwatch, of course. Is that? 77%. Yeah. Okay, okay, I want to know how many of my questions were closer to 50 50 and how many of his were. Oh, like, you oh, definitely had more. Yeah. Yeah. Obvious. yeah. I want to oh, say six out of the seven of yours were super, oh, super close that's margins. That's just the luck of the draw there. Yeah. I'm sorry. So I will say th that is my theory behind these games. I always choose to go second. <laughs> Always. Because she thinks the app. You could have know. mentioned that like four minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, you do not win a I made Radio Matt cry sticker. So far, I've only had to give one of those out. Yeah. Yeah. I still think I deserve one every time I make you cry because I mean, yeah. it happens weekly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll zip it. Well, see, if I'd known all I had to do was make you cry to get a sticker, we could have made it. <laughs> Go. Right. I don't think I like these threats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you know, I wasn't like saying in a threatening way. Like, you're, you know, but you're you have to do is make you, you cry. Know, like, I'll oh, be at your I doorstep with a bat. Like a long time ago, when I said you were such a good dad for getting up so dangerous. Stop dangerous. it! Stop it! I did. You stop I made it you right cry. now. Rewind. Uh, Rewind. I'm muting Replay you. Replay for the judges. Yeah. Mute KY. Oh, Get her out of here. <laughs> oh, I thought she really was muted. I thought you muted. No, her. I didn't mute her. Oh. All right, KY. Thank you so much. We're going to move on Thanks, to the guys. next game. Now, Thanks Grace for being here. Happy oh, Thanksgiving. You I'm as well. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, Grayson, jump on in. You made it just in time. Uh, not really, because we had to move things around to get you in here, but uh, you're here now. Uh, <laughs> in time. DJ J. Shane, thank you for gifting that sub. And uh, Redheaded Stepchild, enjoy those emotes. All right. Grayson, you, yes. were going, you were going up against Mo in a game today. Uh -huh. uh, for the opportunity to win the coveted I Beat Mo in a game, not like with a bat sticker. Uh, and... Uh, a few people have that. Not too many. Few, few people. It's been uh, around longer than mine. Uh, who? Oriel? Oriel, Topher, somebody else, because I know I had to mail at least two of them. Uh, so three, three minutes. I know Silver didn't. <laughs> oh, ooh, dang. <laughs> and ever ooh, since, dang. she hasn't been back. Have you noticed that? <laughs> 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 Oriel has it. It's his favorite sticker. He says, "Which out there?" All right. So this game, um, this might, this might seem like Mo would have an advantage, mm. but I believe most of this stuff we've never talked about because the game today is who knows Matt best. Oh, but again, most of this stuff is very obscure trivia, and it's all multiple choice, so you still always have a chance. So here's how it's going to work, most like most like, most like, like most like most of our trivia games. I'm going to ask uh, one of you one question. You're going to get a chance to answer. If you get it right, you get two points. Uh, if you get it wrong, your opponent has a chance to steal for one point. Uh, and we all alternate these questions until the uh, game is over. I have 14 questions. Stop writing while you... Uh... Is that easy enough for you, Grayson? <laughs> yeah. Easy so enough for easy you, enough. Mo? Uh, can you explain it one more time? I'm just kidding. I can't. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, who should? Who wants the first question? Who should I start with? You're starting with Grayson. Okay, Grayson. No, Mo. I think you need to take the first question. <laughs> nah. You always, you always love going first, right? Visitors first. <laughs> Here, let's, okay, flip, fair let's flip a coin. <laughs> no, hey, okay. All right, I right, have right. home field advantage. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Uh, Grayson, what was my childhood nickname? Was it A, Gigantor, B, Paco, C, Big Cheddar, or D, I never had one? I feel like I've heard C before somewhere else. And I feel like it was a nickname, so that makes me think that it wasn't C. Um, 
<laughs> I mean, I'm honestly gonna take a shot in the dark and say D. Never had one? Yeah. Incorrect. Mo. For a chance at one point, Gigantor, Paco, or Big Cheddar? Paco. That is correct. I know I don't look like a Paco, but uh, I did have the nickname Paco. Bubba actually gave it to me, I believe, uh, back in middle school. Yeah. Paco. <laughs> <laughs> I don't All know right. how I knew that. Mo's up one. And you were right, though. Big Cheddar is a nickname for uh, Yvette Nicole Brown's character on uh, Community when she was a kid. She was Big Cheddar. Big Cheddar. All right. Okay. Mo. Question number two. What is my biggest phobia? A, heights, B, crowds, C, wasps, or D, milk? Heights. Incorrect. Grayson. Crowds, wasps, or milk? It's milk. I'm going to cringe. So I'm going <laughs> to say wasps. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, I'm calling shenanigans. I am very on that scared one. of heights. I'm yes, and I knew this was going to trip you up. I'm very scared of heights, but like I've said, if I'm enclosed, like if it's like in a tramway or whatever, and I look over, I'm not scared at all of heights. It's only like open heights that I'm scared of. But wasps? Yeah. I'm a, out of, out I'm of a those girl. Four, wasps is mine as I'm well. A, I'm a baby girl if there's a wasp anywhere near the place. I, yeah, I even lie and tell people I'm allergic so they won't ask me to try and kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually allergic. So I have, have a, a perfectly yeah. legal excuse. All right. See, y'all are tied up. Shenanigans. All right. Here we go. Number three, Grayson. What is my mm-hmm. hidden talent? A, I can play the guitar YouTuber? pretty well. <laughs> B, I'm an excellent cook. C, I am a master of the yo yo. Or D, I'm a Mongolian throat singer. Okay, the Mongolian throat singer just sounds ridiculous. Um, it's where you can produce two different tones at the same time. Yeah. At this, I almost <laughs> want to go with excellent cook because I feel like you've mentioned this before. I'm gonna go name? with B, excellent, excellent cook? cook. Correct. I mean, yeah, but by whose standards? Like God's. <laughs> you've never been on a cooking show. Like you've never had anyone you know actually. You don't know my life. I've been in a, I've been in a cooking competition before, not on TV. Exactly. But a competition. Whatever. The Highland <laughs> Super Bowl doesn't count. <laughs> it was the chili cook-off. Thank you. And I didn't even taste my chili, and I won. It doesn't count because I don't like chili, but I'm great at cooking. Like chili. No, I try, I try. I want to. I know I'm wrong. Anyway, number four, Mo. What pets did I have as a child? One dog, one gerbil, one fish. Three dogs. A cat, a dog, and a mouse. Or just a hamster. When did we become Dr. Seuss? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Like all through your childhood? Most of it, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I really feel like it's the one dog, one gerbil, whatever the other one is. One fish. But I'm really second guessing myself. (laughs) But I'm going to say that one. Correct. Really? Good job. Yes. Oh. Wow. I thought it was the hamster. <laughs> no, never had a hamster. hamster. Never had a hamster. All right. Uh, Grayson, number five. What was my preferred beverage in high school? A, water. B, sweet tea. C, code red Mountain Dew. Or D, Dr. Pepper. I'm going to go with code red Mountain Dew. You are correct, sir. Good job. Hey, I listen to the morning <laughs> show and remember things. <laughs> All right, so you're up to five. Mo, number six here. What was my first childhood toy that I can remember? A, a rubber ducky. 
rubber ducky, you're the one. A squeak, a squeak. Number B, <laughs> letter B, <laughs> a Red Rider BB gun. C, a stuffed rhino. Or D, a toy piano. I'm going with the stuffed rhino. Ooh, no. Is it no. Not that one. It was a not that one. <laughs> it was a not. <laughs> Crazy. Good catch there. Good catch. Um, <laughs> rubber rubber duck. ducky is such a cliche that I don't want to go with it. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go with. What was the other one other than the toy piano? Red Rider BB gun. You'll shoot your eye out. I'm going to go with, you know what? Rubber ducky. Ooh, no, it was a toy piano. Little oh, yellow, that was my second guess. Little yellow toy piano that made uh. loud clinking noises. And one day it disappeared. And I asked my parents where it was. And they said, I don't know. Look in your toy chest. And it wasn't in there. And I know they threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still bitter about it to this yeah, day. That's fair. You need to ask your mom now. Hey. Listen. Oh, I've asked her. She doesn't even you remember this that. Isn't mother piano? and son. This is parent to parent. Like I get it. I just need you to come clean. Uh, all right, Mo. <laughs> what Wait, is it, Mo? No, it's Grayson. Grayson. Yes, turn. it is Grayson's turn. Grayson. What real world club have I not been a part of? A. Toastmasters. B. Chess club. C, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, or D, Star Trek Fan Club? really don't want to do this to you, but I think it's the athletes. <laughs> Incorrect, sucker. What? No. <laughs> uh, the Star Trek. Correct. I've never been a part oh. of the Star Trek fan club before. I knew yes. it. Yes. Okay, look. I'll level with you. I was not an athlete when I was in Fellowship of Christian Athletes. <laughs> but I was but in he the was group. a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> but they were desperate for members. <laughs> All they right. were desperate for members, so I joined. <laughs> Mo, uh, what is my favorite fast food breakfast? Is it A, a Carl's Jr. breakfast burger? B, a bacon breakfast burrito from pretty much anywhere. C. McDonald's bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles sandwich. Mm. Or D. Whataburger's honey butter chicken biscuit. All of those sound delicious, and they are so, all of them. Are, any of them? All of them, except are great. for the McGriddle. Everything at McDonald's is bad. <laughs> I know one hundred percent. It is between two of them, and I'm not going to say which two. Because okay. if I get it wrong, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I 100% can eliminate two. Easy. Okay. okay. Easy. I don't know why I Easy. like all of these. Sure, <laughs> but you said your favorite. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I like all of these. But uh, <laughs> man, one of these is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm crossing my fingers and saying Carl's Jr. You are right. Yeah. The Carl's Jr. Breaking breakfast burger, guys, is amazing. Was, is your number two the McGriddle? Because that would have no, been my guess. No. Number two would have been Whataburger. No. Number two would be a breakfast burrito pretty much anywhere. Well, neither You're of us were lying. Right. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> <laughs> lying. I'm sorry. All right. Number nine, Grayson. What was my favorite childhood cartoon on Nickelodeon? Nick, 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 Nick. Was it Hey Arnold? Move it, football head. Rugrats, Ren and Stimpy, or Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. I feel like you mentioned Hey Arnold being your favorite. I feel like you did, so I'm going to go with that one. Correct. You're doing yeah. good. All right. You're, you're one up on Mo. You're one up on Mo. Mo, what is my favorite number? Is it 52? 201? 2099 or 12? What was the first one? 52. <laughs> 201? Correct! Holy cow! Do you remember why? I don't. It was a fake, uh, like 007-esque spy number that was given to me by my best oh, friend, yes. Nathan Miles. Yep. 
I'm pretty sure I've only brought that up gonna, one time. Why I was going to guess 52. I don't know. 52 I, I don't is know close. When your birthday is, but it sounds like a it sounds like a birthday kind of a date type thing. Are you saying like May 2nd? Or are you saying <laughs> 1952? <laughs> All right. Because I've never been told your birthday, so how, okay. would I, how was I supposed to know? Okay, okay. Just making sure. On the same page. We were, we were on the same page. Like, uh... Grayson, <clears throat> what is the worst Christmas gift I've ever received? Are you about to like out me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Are you about to just mention every, every gift, gift Mo's, Mo's ever given me? Uh, is it A, socks, B, a soccer clock, C, a universal remote, or D, batteries? Uh, I'm thinking either batteries or socks but at the same time i don't know when you received said socks <laughs> it could have been in your adult life and you're like man socks are awesome it might be fun socks too yeah you never know yeah he gave me socks Someone... for christmas one year mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just plain old think... white socks too. just bag of white socks <laughs> what, what was b again what was what what was b again b was a soccer clock I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the soccer clock. You're correct, man. Yeah. The uh, wow. The, the yeah. all four of those gifts make up uh, every gift I received on my 13th birthday. That is every all I. That's one. all I had. That's all I was given. Which you know, Christmas is not about the gifts. But when you're 13 years you old, birthday. Did I say birthday? I'm sorry. Yeah. Christmas. Christmas. Uh, 13th Christmas. And. Uh, yeah, I got that. And the soccer clock, which, you know, thinking of all the other three things, should be the best of the, th of the things, uh, yeah. was so cheaply made that it fell apart while I was trying to put a battery in it. Wow. So, yeah, never even... The, th the thing about all the other things is you can use them, like socks, you know, there's pretty much one use for them, but batteries in a remote, there's infinite uses for exactly. those. Exactly. Uh, excuse yep. me, I have about a hundred puppets that can tell you otherwise. <laughs> there's at least two uses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. True. Let's see. So we are at Grayson with nine and Mo with eight. And how many questions? We have three questions left and Mo, this one goes so to you. I get two questions and Grayson gets one. Well, oh. yeah, okay. Anyway, forget One more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Mo. Uh-huh, yeah. Now really think about this. Hush. Don't just jump. Just say the just question. Don't just, jump just say the question. How many languages can I speak? One. None. <laughs> two. Or two if you count Klingon. <laughs> None. <laughs> uh, I don't. Ma oh, Matt. <laughs> I've never once heard you speak Klingon. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. Ever, ever. I'm going with one. Dios mío. Vivimos en Nuevo México. Por supuesto que habla español. Are you giving the answer away right now? <laughs> You just gave the answer away. No, it's one. Oh. <laughs> I have that written down on my sheet. Oh. <laughs> I, wrote, I went I to Google like... Translate and said, how do I say, Mo, we live, or my gosh, we live in New Mexico. Of course, I speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and then I practiced it all day. Very good. I'm, I'm impressed. You did that really well. You had me tripping for a minute. All right. So you're up to 10. Uh, Grayson, you're at nine. Uh, here's your last question. How do I make myself fall asleep? I thought you were going to say disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gone. <laughs> Mirrors. All right. A, I count down from 10 on my fingers. B, I drink a glass of warm milk. C, I lay on my stomach. Or D, I'm so tired, I pass out immediately. There's no trick needed. Something tells me that's what a parent's life is, just falling asleep instantly <laughs> because you're so tired. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just I'm gonna go with D. I'm so tired. I pass out immediately. Yeah. Incorrect, Mo. Do I count down from ten on my fingers? Do I drink a glass of warm milk, or do I lay on my stomach? <laughs> I think counting down from 10 on your fingers is so weird that that's the answer. It is. <laughs> <laughs> what? I literally lay in bed, lay down, and I put all 10 fingers up, and I just count down and put one down every time. And by the time I hit none, I pass out. Nearly what? every time. It's the weirdest Why thing. Why you try this? And I, Apparently. Don't know how, and I don't know how I started doing it, but I've been doing it for years, and it works. <laughs> Counting down to his demise. <laughs> All right. Ten. So Mo is up by one. No, she's up by two. Ah. Yeah. She's up by two. So Grayson, you have to get this right to at least tie. All right. Oh wait, this yep. isn't even your question, is it? No, it's not. <gasps> my you question. You can't win. You, you can't win. Grayson. I can't win unless unless we want to shift the rules of the game <laughs> so that I can tie. <laughs> no, let's see, Mo. Okay, fair enough. How long did I last at my first job? Two days, two weeks, two months, or two years? Two days. Wrong. Two weeks. Oh. Grayson, you don't get a point because he lost oh, anyway. Man. I was <laughs> Here's the thing that I was going to guess. It was two very weeks. short. Yeah, it was very, very short. Very, very short. I lasted two weeks at a Dairy Queen because then Wiener Schnitzel called up and said, Hey, we finally processed your application. You want a job? And I said, Please get me out of here. I actually <laughs> did not know that. That's not what I was thinking at all. Dairy Queen is awful. I was only two points off. You did you know? great, dude. For 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 I mean, Mo's been my my best friend for for several years. Yeah. And the fact and that she came within uh, just a couple points <laughs> of losing yeah. to you kind of makes me sad. <laughs> Although you also cannot answer trivia about me, so that's true. It's no, okay. that's absolutely true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but hey, guess what? What? We're both winners. Yeah. This is the first time. <laughs> First yeah, if only Matt would win two games in a row, am I right? All right, you're out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for playing, Grace. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> oh, fun stuff, guys. That was fun. Fun that stuff. Fun. All right, good job, Mo. I'm proud of you. You also. Our, uh, our, our, my, my, my faith in our friendship is is restored. Not restored, but sealed. continuing on. Yeah, there we go. Sealed. That's a good word for it. Sealed, right. sealed, delivered. <laughs> Oh, so neither of us have to give away a sticker today. Oh, yeah. So uh, we get to keep the stickers. We get to keep those stickers. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yep. guys. Sorry for you. Sorry for you. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Just be Hope thankful you enjoy, for what you got. Hope you enjoy eating crow <laughs> instead of turkey. Be thankful because uh, we ain't giving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, let's take a break right here. When we come back, we're going to talk about Disney Plus Day. Stick around. Yeah. 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 Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no you cannot buy one get the heck out of here djj shane no you just have to participate in the games yeah, they're open man. to anybody and we open it up man all right um yes uh oriel just posted the giveaway if uh you have not yet put in your dibs put in your dibs uh, for some reason it doesn't tell you when you put in your first dibs that you successfully did it, but it will tell you if you've tried to do it too many times. Um, so just let me check. We got six entries. There's three prizes, guys. So, I mean, keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. <clears throat> uh, look, let's test you, Matt. Test me on what? I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man. Let's test how how well everyone knows me, Lark says. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are we doing now? Disney Plus? Disney Plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to start with your fact. Do you have a fact? Uh huh, I do. Are you lying? No, I'm not. Are you Googling? L no. Facts no. Right That's the one thing that I did do, okay? <laughs> okay. That's the one prep that I did manage to accomplish. Yeah. <sighs> and actually finish. Matt, do you know here... The Muffin Man? Mo lived in Italy. Do you know where Mo lived in Italy? Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Italy. Um, what are some places in Italy? Give me a, give me a multiple choice. Oh, gosh. Let's see if um, I can get it right. Venezia? 
Uh, Give it to me in English. <laughs> okay. Is that uh, Venice? Venice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you're going to know. You're going to know. Well, that's... <laughs> how would they know? <laughs> They're going to know. <laughs> um, okay. Venezia. Venice. <laughs> Budoya. What is that? Portanone <laughs> or Aviano. What are their English names? Those are... They... <laughs> They don't have English names because okay, they're not big. Venice, uh -huh. Budoya, Aviano, or Portanone. I really don't know. Is it Aviano? That was the base we were at, yeah. Uh, okay. The town we lived in was Budoya. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Those are the names. Those are the names. Get <laughs> off my back. <laughs> yeah. Luca. <laughs> Luca is my favorite place to visit in Italy. Oh, I thought she was just making a joke about the movie from oh, Disney. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that is a real place. Like saying pizza. She lived in pizza. No. Well, pizza, Italy. Is there a place called pizza, Italy? It's pizza. Okay, well, that's different. <laughs> it's not pizza. It's pizza. Pisa, which Pisa. Luca is right outside of Pisa. Luca. And Luca is a town that's completely um, surrounded by a wall. There is a, ra a round wall completely around the town. How do they get in and out? Well, that has a gate <laughs> on multiple sides. Okay. Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome back to the Back Row Morning Show. Hold on. Mm hmm. Welcome back to the Back Row Thanksgiving Special. I'm Radio Matt. And I'm Mo. And we've changed some things up for this season, including what we record live on Twitch. Each week we record our shows the Friday or Saturday before with our friends on Twitch. You can follow us at twitch.tv slash LTN on air. To be notified when we go live and to join our Discord over at backrowdiscord.com for after the show discussion and even opportunities to be on the show yourself. Before we go any further, it's time for most Fact of the Day. Balloons from Macy's Day Parade used to float through the sky freely. What? I'm so excited you choose a Macy's Day Parade fact. You're welcome. Uh, up until 1932, balloons from the New York Parade were released into the sky when the festivities were over. Macy's offered a $50 reward for those who found a deflated balloon and returned it. Unfortunately, it was a horrible idea because the giant balloons would burst after clearing the skyline. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, I love the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Me too. We talked so about this fun. last year because remember my fifth graders, I had lunch duty with the fifth graders last year at this time, and none of them knew what the Macy's Day right. Parade was. We were so disappointed. Yes. Like, hey, your parents not making you watch this thing? But here's the thing. I'm thinking that it's just a fifth grader thing. <laughs> just that one year. Well, my fifth graders from this year, you know, because I see all the kids now, mm -hmm. my fifth graders from this year are all saying the same thing. They don't know what the Macy's Day Parade is. But kindergarten through second, or kindergarten through fourth, all know what the parade is. So I'm feeling like there's a, like a, something with your brain when you're in fifth grade, where you just huh. like drop information or something. I don't know. Huh. I'm starting gonna to be wonder. A, there's going to be a Funko Pop balloon. In this year's parade. Really? Yeah. I don't remember what the Funko Pop is of. But yes, there will be a Funko Pop. Huh. I cannot wait. Well, I mean, if you're listening to this on Thanksgiving, then it's probably already happened. It's probably already over. But where we're recording it, I cannot wait. Yes. Because it's my favorite yearly tradition. Mine too. I got my big old box of Captain Crunch berries waiting for but my boys it's and I. It's not Christmas Crunch, is it? It's not. Yeah. Again, because they just, they ruined it. Yeah. They ruined the rotation of Captain Crunch. Christmas Crunch used to come out beginning of November and last for two months. But they Thanks to put, the World in, Series. put in baseball crunch in November instead. And they don't roll it out until after Thanksgiving now. But bummer. Mm -hmm. It's Grogu. It is Grogu. And I think it's Grogu Funko Pop. I'm almost certain it's a Grogu Funko Pop that is in the the balloon in the parade this year. Uh, I might have to double check that, but it sounds familiar. Okay. Hey, today, uh, well, the day after Thanksgiving, there's going to be two kinds of people. 
the the kind that spend the next several days shopping till they dropping and the kind that spend it binge watching all the shows and movies they are behind on before they have to go back to work on monday Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that introduction is how we're choosing to show horn a quick shoe, disca- sh- shoe horn. Oh, shoe horn. My bad. A quick discussion of the latest Disney plus day announcements. <laughs> Honestly, this year is <laughs> show horn. It's in. a show thing. <laughs> Honestly, this year's Disney plus day was just as overwhelming as last year's. So uh, let's tear through these announcements and uh, give our thoughts here. Uh, but first, I just want it to be known that. There's three kinds of people. The shopping till you're dropping, the binge watching, and the shopping till you're dropping and binge watching, <laughs> which is the, what the I will people be. People that sleep two hours a night. Exactly. <laughs> I can sleep when I die. <laughs> uh, first up, cheaper by the dozen. It's being reimagined. Yeah. Which it's already been reimagined? Because wasn't it like a movie in the. 50s yes and then it was a movie early 2000s early 2000s yeah hillary and duff was in that one zach braff's gonna be in this one yeah and i'm and just not a gabrielle union yeah i'm just not a uh, you're not a zach fan zach braff is kind of a jerk in real life I was... and so like every time he gets a new project i'm like i don't want you to succeed <laughs> man <laughs> He, okay, look, I didn't have a direct interaction with him, but he came to my restaurant in Albuquerque and was just a total D-bag to someone that I worked with. Just one of those one of those celebrities you wish that your favorite celebrity won't be. You know, the do you know who I am kind of celebrity. Just a total jerk. I'm just like, man, hmm. I loved you from Scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't you be more like J.D.? He would never treat anybody like that He's when he scrub. ordered his apple teenies. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's coming in March of uh, next year. <laughs> I'll still probably watch it, but I mean, come on. I mean, I am excited about Disenchanted. I'm excited about Disenchanted. Oh my too. gosh, they just put Enchanted on Disney Plus, um, which my wife has already watched twice since it came <laughs> since it came out. But Disenchanted. Like, it's been so many years. It has been. I was honestly sitting here thinking, like, trying to remember when Enchanted came out. Right. Is it going to be, like, about their kid or something? Their kid, the, I mean, is it going to focus around the daughter? Maybe. That he has? Maybe. Uh, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I'm, know. I'm excited for it. I'm, exci- <laughs> I'm here for it. Whatever they decide to do, I'm oh, here for it. Oh, I just got, like, a real... Hopefully, it's not, like... <sighs> It's the opposite of a love story. It's disenchanted. It's how they get divorced. Oh. See? Oh. Don't put that in my brain. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Right? Why did I never consider the title <laughs> until just now? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin this. I... Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Uh, animated adventure. Streaming on December 3rd, so not too long from now. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, sure. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Why wouldn't we have another one of these? Yeah. Uh, all new animated movie. <sighs> Let's see here. I Roderick wish rules. Diary of a Wimpy Kid would just like. I've never gotten into it. I don't understand the appeal. I agree. <laughs> but there's another movie coming out in next year called Roderick Ru- Ru- Roderick Rules, which is a part of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid mm-hmm. situation there. So sure, why not? Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, Chip and Dale. starring John Rescue Mulaney Rangers. and Chip Andy Chip Samberg Dale. as Rescue Chip Rangers. and Dale. Guys, guys. That was honestly my favorite cartoon as a kid. It was so fun. Yes. It was so fun. Uh, so yeah, Chip and Dale, but with John Mulaney and Andy Samberg, I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Can't go wrong with those two. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Uh, a docu series called The Beatles Get Back. I'm excited about this. Uh, by Peter Jackson. Yeah. This is yeah. Ooh. Mm, yeah. I'm in for it. Three nights. Three night event begins like now. What's today? Thanksgiving's on the 25th. That's when it starts. It's here. It's happening. Yep. So, t- so tonight, tomorrow, and the next night is when it starts. Yeah, I'm excited. I love the Beatles. There's there's a growing movie that move movie move of uh, people that just don't like the Beatles anymore. It makes me sad. Yeah, makes me sad. 
Better Nate than ever. I don't know what this is. I was going to say, I actually <laughs> did not look at this one. I don't know what this one is about. Uh, the chase your dreams and be a star. So I'm thinking it's a musical. Hmm. Whatever. Hocus Pocus <laughs> 2. Whatever. This is why I didn't look at Better Nate than <laughs> Never, because it was overshadowed <laughs> by Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> I'm excited. Are, it wasn't Sarah Jessica Parker in the first one, was yes, it? Yes, it was. It was, really? Yes. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Yep. I thought that that was a recasting. No, those are the same three. I know the other two are the same. Yeah. I just didn't know that it was Sarah Jessica. I didn't know it was it SJP. Is. It is. It so is. it was SJP before she was popular. Because she was, must have been like the no-name of the cast at that point then. Maybe. Because I never heard of her before Sex and the City. Did she do anything of note before that? I have no idea, Matt. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Yeah, Hocus Pocus. <laughs> uh, Pinocchio, because yeah, why not? We need another one of these. Is that sarcasm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's already been. Am I saying sarcasm? <laughs> There's already yet? been every version of Pinocchio possible made. Live action, cartoon, 3D animation, pretty sure. Listen, until people get <laughs> the clue that lying is bad, we're going to keep making Pinocchio, okay? Oh, gosh. This stars Tom Hanks, because why not? <laughs> uh, it's directed by Robert Zemeckis, so, I mean, it gives me a little bit more hope. But is but... Tom Hanks Pinocchio or Geppetto? Of course he's Geppetto. Geppetto. Because he's old now. The Ice Adventures of Buck Wild. This you is, left out age, uh, the Ice Age. Ice Age Adventures. Sorry, Ice Age Adventures was, is a Buck Wild. I just wanted to say Buck Wild. So Buck Wild. Buck Wild. Yeah. <laughs> this is just more Ice Age stuff. There's been so many Ice Age movies. What is it with like dinosaur themed kids franchises and their ability to make 12 sequels and nobody bats an eye about it? It's like Land Before Time, and then as soon as Land Before Time stopped making movies, Ice Age started making movies. You're right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sneakerella. Which, yeah, uh, I also passed right over this one. Another telling of uh, Cinderella, but this yeah, time. Uh, with tennis uh, shoes? With tennis shoes. But I don't understand that yeah, because it's not shoes. like it was Lace, high heel Lorella. Lace like, up and dream. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It's the ugliest shoe on the planet, too. It it's is so bad looking. Ugly. You but, remember that? Um, am I the only one that's frustrated by this? <laughs> really here? I don't. Why? Why did they change it to Sneakerella? It's I not as if the first one had anything to do about <laughs> her shoe in the name. Golly. The shoe. Do you remember that? The music video for somebody that I used to know. Now you somebody. somebody that I used to know. I don't remember like the music go, video, though. Goatee no. or something. Goit. Goity. Mm -mm. I don't know. Goiter. Uh, well, anyway, music video looks like the shoe. <laughs> That's a, what's the wall of the music video look like? Proud Family's back uh, for, is it a series? It is a series. Proud Family, Louder and Prouder is back, mm. which the tagline makes it sound like it's focusing on LGBTQ stuff. It may be louder and prouder. Is yeah. it? Because that's it, one of their slogans, be. isn't it? It might be. That'd be weird for, <laughs> for a cartoon on Disney. But oh well. Uh, High School Musical, the musical, the series has been going on. Okay, uh, so this one for me, season like, three. you and your dinosaur ongoing, whatever. That's how I feel about High School Musical. Like, the people aren't even in high school anymore. <laughs> well, none of these are the same people. Well, I know that, but come on. <laughs> Can we be done, please? Uh, Tad Hall. So when is the back uh, back show <laughs> getting their new member, Carolyn the Christian? Oh, God. I would, I would permanently cut a third box into our overlay here if we could have Carolyn on every show. And I think Mo would agree. Mm -hmm. Carolyn's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, was, that was seriously just fun shows. Fun shows with her on them. The Spiderwick Chronicles, modern coming of age story combined with fantasy adventure. 
whatever that means. Uh, it's a book series I have not read and I know a little about. Yeah. But a lot of people who have read it are very excited about mm -hmm. it. So it might be something I check out. The artwork's pretty yeah. neat. Seems like a fantasy thing, which I'm not really into all that much. But I'll give it a shot. Baymax. I'm super excited. Yeah. Very happy about this. Yeah. You haven't seen any of the people in it aside from the ant. Like in the trailer, oh, yeah. it's just the ant. I'm like, is this just like Baymax's normal adventures? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. The kid's gone and it's like, how can I? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Zootopia Plus, which is just like a, a it's like a, it's like a series of just f following all the other side characters. Yeah. But just like one at a time, it seems like. Like a short, like one episode focuses on her parents, one on that snooky rat. <laughs> Is that not Snooky? Come on. Come on. That, that's a bit insensitive. But that's exactly who it is. <laughs> so I think that this could be really interesting as long as in the end, like... Oh, there's one where the slobs are on a date. All of it ties in together. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, same day, same big picture story is happening, but these are little picture stories that all lead up to big picture story. I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Uh, kind of like What If did. Did you watch What If? No. Marvel's What If? No. Oh, girl, you need to watch What If. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Because it's very similar. Uh, it takes, it's like uh, looking at alternate realities. Mm -hmm. So alternate telling of like stories from the movies. Yeah. And uh, they all kind of converge into something cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to say anything more than that, so okay. I don't spoil it. That's but it's fair. really neat. That's fair. Uh, we're also getting a series, long form musical series based off of, um, the princess, the frog. Is that what the movie was? <laughs> so princess Tiana, uh -huh. which that movie is really old now too. Wasn't that the last like 2d animated princess movie? Oh, I'm pretty sure it was Possibly, from, from Disney yeah. anyway. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's when they switched over to 3d animation. Yeah. This one was so scary. The movie? Oh, man. I never watched that one. Well, it's just because it takes place in Louisiana, so there's a whole lot of like a... Nyalans? Yeah. Well, like that whole voodoo mm. vibe, you know? Oh, man. It was it was creepy. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I mean, maybe I'll watch the movie. I don't yeah. know. I've never seen it. Disney's Intertwined uh, or uh, Entre Lazados. Yes. Produced in Latin America. That that's you speaking Spanish. And this your is second uh, language. <laughs> I'm glad I got you a little bit. With you that did there, for real. I was really wigging out about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what this is about, but it actually looks kind of cool just from the art. Uh huh. So yeah, it's honestly giving me like a. 90s, mm -hmm. late 90s Disney Channel, yeah. Xenon Warrior, or Xenon, Xenon Warrior. Warrior Princess. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Xenon Girl of the 31st Century. Yes, vibe. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah. Those movies were great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, in case you thought Cars was over, think again. Because now we got Cars on the road. On the road again. Featuring still Owen Wilson and Larry the Cable Guy. So, I mean, Can't wait to get on I'm all right with that. Again. I'm all right with that. I'll enjoy it. There's there's dinosaur cars in one of these. I think Larry the Cable Guy might be like an unsung hero. Except he has to be the sidekick. He cannot be the main focus. Because any movie where Larry the Cable Guy plays the lead character always flops. It's always a terrible movie. Is it? He's a great sidekick. Think about Cars 2. Cars 2, he took the main character role. And it is the worst Pixar film. <laughs> That's fair. Nobody likes it. He uh, lead in Jingle All the Way 2. Terrible movie. Good premise. Terrible movie. Mm -hmm. Every movie that he's the lead, it's bad. Delta farce. Awful. Uh, <laughs> all right. Next up, win or lose. I don't know what this is. New animated series, whatever. Hawkeye, here we go. Now we're going to talk about something that's good. <laughs> Hawkeye <laughs> starts, uh, uh, started last night uh, from where we're recording. Uh, or not from where we're recording, but from where this is airing. Started last night, Hawkeye. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be another six-episode 
mini series like all the other ones mm -hmm. have or kind of have been. Um, I'm just excited for it. I love I Hawkeye. Too. Me too. And having to focus on him just be nice. Yeah. Moon Knight, uh, which uh, admittedly is a Marvel character I'm not all that familiar with, uh, is coming out yeah. um, soon, but I don't know when. Mm -hmm. Sometime next year. Uh, but the big one, I don't know. I guess we're not talking about that yet. <laughs> so the next one, She-Hulk, which is going to be like a comedy. No one ever told me that they like made a comedy about my life. <laughs> it's going to be like a courtroom comedy series, and it will have um, Mark Ruffalo in it as well. Nobody asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign any papers. Yeah, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> I have not seen the TV rights deal laid out in front of me. But I'm very intrigued. <laughs> but I'm excited for that. Me too. Miss Marvel is coming out as well. This is following a... Um, I don't really know what her gimmick is. I know she's kind of stretchy, but I think it might only be like her fist can get really big. It's like a really weird concept. Uh, I know it's a, uh, I think it's an Arab character, an Arab woman okay. or girl, like teenager. Anyway, this is going to be like the launch for her. And I believe she's going to be in the, the Marvel's movie, the Captain Marvel sequel, which comes out, I think the next year. Hmm. Uh, so this will be a fun we can start that. What if season two? See, I just talked about what if. What if season two is going to be launching next year? Yep. Um, I'm excited to see where they take that. Echo, which uh, f is going to kind of be the sequel, I guess, to the Hawkeye series, uh, is also planned. I am Groot, which I is am uh, Groot. apparently supposed to be at least at least from what I've seen, is supposed to be following his his growth from the little baby to the teenage Groot. And, uh, we know and love. But I don't know. I guess, I mean, okay, well, it's an animated series, I guess. Okay, it says. So I was like, I was about to say, I don't think they got all the characters back for that. But if they're going to animate them and have them be voiced by somebody else, I guess right. that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Iron Heart was also announced. And uh, Iron Heart is a comic book uh, series, or, or I don't know how, I don't know if it was a full run or if it was just like a mini series. But it's about a, a I think, a black teenage woman who takes on kind of like the Iron Man persona after Tony Stark. I think I don't think he died in the comics, but I think he just stepped down. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, it's like the new Iron Man. And cool. I'm cool to see it too. Yeah. They're really building, it seems like, a Young Avengers uh, kind of uh, situation here. Yeah. Which uh, might also make sense with WandaVision if she's able to find her two boys again because they were also in the Young Avengers. So like they're building all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Yes. Uh, let's see How here. do people's brains work like this? Though? Like, <laughs> I cannot make all of those dots connect, and they're doing it. Uh, Agatha is I'm getting excited. her own series. I'm super excited House about House of Agatha. Harkness. Yeah. I don't even care what it's about. Yeah. Give me all the Agatha Harkness. She's. I mean that. That. What's her name? Um, oh yeah. What is her? I don't remember her name now. Catherine, Catherine Hahn, that's right. I was about to say Zahn, but I'm like, no, that's the other guy. That's that dude. Catherine Hahn, she's just brilliant in everything she does. Marvel Zombies, which is, um, we saw a bit of in What If. They're going to take that and make a whole animated series out of it. I'm not probably going to watch that one because Marvel Zombies was kind of gross. But I don't know. Okay. Uh, Secret Invasion, which was already announced, but like it's coming soon. It's 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 on its way. Secret Invasion okay, this series totally looks like TNMT right there. It does, doesn't it? It kind of has that vibe. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, X Men '97. All right, a lot of people have said that in the chat already. X Men '97 is coming back. Uh, the the most popular Marvel animated series ever, I believe. And not only are they bringing it back, they're bringing it back as if it never left. They're picking off, picking up right where it left off, using the same animation style, same theme song, same everything. I mean, this, this is the kind of stuff that streaming services has opened up. Yeah. Because... Half this stuff, if they were just TV shows being pitched to networks, would never see the light of day. Yeah. But when now you own the uh, streaming service, I can make whatever I want. And if it doesn't work, fine. If it yeah. does work, gold mine. 
It's very uh, true. Yeah. So I'm excited for that too. Yep. Um, what of season two? I already said. Echo said Spider Man freshman year. I was always, I've always like I get why our first look at Spider Man, he had already become Spider Man. Like we didn't see a new origin story because we've already had two of those in very recent memory. But it always still kind of felt like a bit of a cheat. Like, I want to know how this version of Spider-Man became Spider-Man. I want to see the beginnings. I want to see Uncle Ben. I want to see, you know, all yeah. those things, all those iconic things about the start of Spider-Man. And we kind of skipped over all that. Well, apparently they're going to go back to it with a, a series, an animated series, Spider-Man Freshman Year. So it's going to talk about that first year of high school and how he became Spider-Man. And uh, yeah, I mean. Again, Brilliant. Something I'm excited for. Okay. <clears throat> um, Lots of repeats. We Willow, we've already so we talked about that last year. Like Willow is, is on its way, but it's even closer. They got all the cast together and everything. Willow series. Obi Wan Kenobi. That's coming up. I can't wait. I can't wait for it. Uh, Under the Helmet: The Legacy of Boba Fett is a um, documentary that is now streaming on uh, Disney Plus. Did you say that correctly? What did I say? You said Baba Fett? Bob, Boba, Baba, whatever. Okay, okay. People say it both ways. I've heard it both ways. <laughs> the thing that when I saw it was a real thing, I laughed for a solid five minutes. Will Smith is hosting a National Geographic show called Welcome to Earth. <laughs> a play off of his line from Independence Day, which... They misspelled it because it was Welcome to Earth in Independence Day. <laughs> but I could not believe it was a real thing. I laughed so hard. And I'm excited for it. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. <clears throat> I'll watch it. Uh, America the Beautiful is another one of those National Geographic things. Okay, but Welcome to Earth kind of makes it look like he's doing survival things. Is he Is he going to be doing survival I think things? he's just going to like different parts of the Earth that you could experience. I'm not sure it's survival well, so I mean, much. He's in a kayak. I would expect that he was going to different parts of the Earth. <laughs> not different parts of the moon or Mars or Pluto. You, I mean... I'll punch you back. <laughs> Limitless with Chris oh, Hemsworth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's not the movie. It's it's another National Geographic show. Uh, he looks like he's going to be doing the extreme stuff. Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I mean, he is Thor. He was a nobody, you know, when he was cast in uh, S. Thor. Like he was a no name. Everybody said all the all the all was the characters he? cast in, you know, well not all, but many of the the big names cast in, in Avengers were mostly no names, mostly lower tier celebrities. Like um, Captain America, Chris, Chris Evans, right? That's Chris Evans. What's the deal with all the Chris's? Chris Evans was like Bla uh, the the fire guy in, in the first terrible Fantastic Four movies. Like nobody cared about him. <laughs> uh, I think the only role that I remember Chris Hemsworth having was as uh, Captain Kirk's dad in the opening 10 minutes of the new Star Trek movies. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo hadn't had a big thing happen in his career in many, many years. Uh, even Robert Downey Jr. hadn't had a big thing happening in his career in many years because of his uh, quote unquote fall from grace with alcoholism and stuff. And like nobody wanted to take a chance on him. And then they took a chance on him and it paid off handsomely. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's Chris was he was in Cabin in the Woods. I, I didn't know that. I still haven't watched that movie. I, I want to watch about it. To say that, and I was going to act like it was my fact that I knew. Jeez, <laughs> oh, get it together, Matt. Uh, thank <laughs> you, Brother Mod. All right, <laughs> Brother Mod just followed us or uh, followed LT and Radio on Twitter today. I, I noticed that. What what? Uh, Tad Hall gifted a tier one sub. Thank you for that gift of a sub, Tad Hall. All right, where are we at here? What are we doing? I'm pretty sure we are. are we at... done? I think that's all of them. Yeah, that is it. Did I miss anything? Nope. I don't think I missed anything. You did. That's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff coming up. I'm very excited about it all. Yeah, it's a <laughs> sadly time for a break. It is. Uh, but when we come back, a Thanksgiving feast of sorts. Stick around. I read your line and you read my line. Yeah. <laughs> well, you read my line, then I read your line, then you read my line. Oh, the yeah. lines. Uh -huh. The funny. lines. Hey, guys. Guys, it's almost time. 
It's almost time, time for, for turkey dinner. Turkey dinner, y'all. It's going to be so good. You want to get a couple nappy cans? Um, can you lay it down for just a second? I don't open it yet. <laughs> Thank you. Shut up! Got it. You turd. Don't be a jerk. <sighs> don't be a jerk. Uh-huh. Don't you be a jerk, y'all. Why is there a glare? I just want to take a... plastic and there's a big light bulb. Picture. Oh, look. Ha, ha, ha. I did it. <laughs> My hand worked. All right. Thank you for all your morning show. It has brightened my days. Oh, I'm glad, man. Thank you. Or assuming, man. I don't. Sure I don't all this. I'm not sure. It's hard to, to make those distinctions. Um, um. All right. So here's the colors. I'm a dude. I'm okay, a dude. thank you. <laughs> the only thing that really made me question it is earlier he said, hmm, Hemsworth. And so I was like, is that a hmm hey, or a hmm? you know what? I have hmm him too. Okay. <laughs> Hemsworth is, is, is a beautiful hum-able? man. Is a beautiful man. He's hummable. He's a beautiful man. That's for sure. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to open these and they're all going to go flying. All right, do your best to de- delineate Oh, it smells these. like coffee. Oh, it smells like coffee. Oh, that's good. That's exciting. That's what I was super excited about was the <laughs> coffee one. All right. Uh, but before we... Mo's going to separate these out. But before we actually do those, we're going to do a quick um, arguing on Discord. So if anybody uh, in our Discord wants to jump in, uh, we got a few slots that you can jump in and talk with us. Because uh, we're gonna, and there, there's not, it's not big in the argument department. It's more about just kind of like your favorites with um, Thanksgiving foods. So if you want to jump in and be a part of that, we're gonna do that pretty much right away as we start out here. Uh, so I'm gonna need you to pull that image back up real quick. So I'm, I... I'm gonna need some people to jump in on the chat. I'm gonna need. We all gonna <laughs> need some things. Okay, listen, listen. So that's the coffee. That's the turkey. No. Yeah, because it's the orangish one. Okay, so this is the stuffing. All right, here's coffee. Here's coffee. coffee. Here's Johnny. <laughs> That's apple pie. This is stuffing. Here's All right. Johnny. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes. Yes. So white with the browner. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Give me one no, it's only... chunk out of it. <laughs> Less for me to chew up. There. Oh, gosh, it does smell like coffee. Holy cow. There you go. It smells so much like coffee. All right. Let's arrange. Let's pick an order we're going to eat these in. Um, I think we should save the apple pie and the coffee for last since they're new. What do you think? Sure. So cranberry sauce, green bean. Stopping. Gosh, the turkey's gonna make me vomit again. <laughs> Apple pie and coffee. Okay. Holy cow. Uh, if you are in our Discord, uh, then it is down. If you scroll down to the morning show section on the side there, there's a join the morning show room. Are you in our Discord? Are you in our Discord? Tad. Tad. It's not the. Uh, it's not the Love Thy Nerd one. It's the second one. Or the first one, rather. The backrowdiscord.com. Back to the row. To the back, to the back, to the row. It's our own private Discord. Dang, the link no work. Okay, hold on one second. If it doesn't work, I'll just make a new link, y'all. Just... Copy. Here it is. Here. Join right now. Let's go. It's fine. Sometimes those those Discord forwards get persnickety. I remember that happening with the LTN one occasionally as well. Since we're waiting on you. On who? Tad. There oh, he is. Okay. 
Tad Hall, welcome. And he's already joined. All right, cool. Um, all right, we're going to get started. We're going to record. Once we get started, those of you in the Discord, you might just want to mute your your Twitch because it's going to come out much later than how we're actually talking. So uh, just be prepared. Oh, pardon me. You ready? I'm ready. Welcome back to the Back Row Thanksgiving special. I'm Radio Matt. And I'm Mo. And hey, are you following us on all the socials? We're on Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Just search for at the Back Row LTN and connect with us. So, as we've mentioned, today's show is special. It's our Thanksgiving special. And we're celebrating our community today. And one of our favorite segments... I'm already preparing for our next segment. I'm sorry. One of our favorite He's segments that up. features our friends. Oh, goodness. <laughs> is our arguing on Discord segment where we invite everybody to uh, come in and give their two cents. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, today, we've got a fun one. Thanksgiving food preferences. I'll show with you, Mo. I know. I'm I'll sorry. I'll show with you. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why'd you stop talking? No. <laughs> My bad. Hey, everybody. Hi, guys. What Hi, is guys. up? Hi, guys. Hello, Hello Tad. Hello, KY. Hi. Hello, Oriel. Tad, welcome to the Discord. First time. Thank you. First time. I've been bitching your show like all week. It's been awesome. Well, that's fantastic, <laughs> man. Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> There's plenty of it. This is our seventh season. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, All right. Man. So uh, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be really easy. Uh, I'm just gonna ask y'all a couple. Well, I got five, five food preference things from Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll just go in a round. We'll start with. Uh, oh, Grayson's in here too. Cool. Grayson. Yeah, so we'll start with uh, KY each time, then Oriel, then Grayson, then Tad, and then if anyone jumps in after that, I'll add him after Tad. But that's the order I have you in here on my screen. So. That's uh, the order we're going to go. Sound good? Yep. All right. It's for me. First question. Homemade cranberry sauce or cranberry sauce from the can still in the can shape? KY. 100% in the can. <laughs> Oreo. Neither. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with Oreo on this one. Neither. Neither. Death. 100% the can. When it's homemade, <laughs> it's just not as good. <laughs> There's something about the can thing that just entrances Ocean spray, everybody. Be a Ocean spray. <laughs> yes. You know what? The only cranberry stuff I really do like is Ocean Spray juice, where cranberry is getting in all the other juices. So good. All right. Next I'm, up. I'm oh, homemade. sorry, Mo. Yeah. I'm Mo. homemade. Homemade barf. What's wrong? Homemade. <laughs> <laughs> do you make it? Or right. somebody else oh, make it that you prefer? Chris makes it. Chris makes it. <laughs> I, I make nothing. So is this like a hostage situation thing where mess. you have to eat it because he makes it? Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, it's actually <laughs> delicious. Uh-huh. Sure it is. Okay. Uh, turkey, <laughs> turkey, dark meat, or white meat? KY. Oh, both. Mm, I don't think you can do that. White meat. <laughs> white, and I'll tell you why. Because my whole life growing up, my mom was like, dark meat, dark meat's the best. We always ate chicken thighs all the time dark meat's the best and so i always rebelled and wanted dark one white meat so <laughs> white meat is that oreo i like both but uh white meat preferred all right okay grayson i'm a dark meat I have, I have so much white that I just prefer dark. It's, it's, it's much, not. Wow. It's not that. There's too much white just, meat wow. in my life. Okay, you know what? It shouldn't be that way. Tab. Uh, I like to serve the family by grabbing the white meat so everyone else can have the two drumsticks. Oh. See, so yeah. you're a selfless soul. Yeah. Mo. <laughs> White meat all the way. Heck yeah. Wow. I thought I was going to be outnumbered here, but I'm like my, my whole family hates white meat because it's quote unquote too dry. dry. Yeah. And I'm like, it's delicious. That's what the gravy's for. Not it is a bit, right? it is a bit drier, but what? I don't mind it. <laughs> I feel like that's a cooking technique issue. Hey, though. wait a minute, Grayson. Really <laughs> you were on Team Dark Meat. <laughs> out here. Well, okay. Well, I still like white meat. It's not. It's not wow. That I don't like wow. Wow. For dark meat. He doesn't want to discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Side dish time. Mac and cheese or mashed potatoes? K 
Say what? Mashed potatoes, of course. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like it was a joke. Gravy. I mean, like what the gravy? I mean, come on, it's all about. The, it's a vehicle for gravy. Oreo. Not- <laughs> Mac, uh, both, but mac and cheese. Yeah, if I had to choose right, between right. the two, grazing mashed potatoes. KY is correct. <laughs> Tad. <laughs> Tad, I never knew mac and cheese was a Thanksgiving oh, meal. Oh my so. heart! Ouch! <laughs> oh, Mo. the baked mac and cheese with like the yeah, bread crumb buddy. crumble on the top. See, yes. so that was going to be Maybe my follow up question: bacon. like craft mm. mac and cheese or Heck homemade no. mac and Heck cheese? No, no. It's just, this is like homemade. This yeah. is like oven baked mm-hmm. mac and cheese. Nope, I will yes. take the box mac and cheese <laughs> any day. Uh, but I, definitely... I don't care if it's the box either. I'll take either. <laughs> I, 100... I don't discriminate on mac and cheese. <laughs> it's all mac and cheese. One hundred percent mashed potatoes. <laughs> Okay. Without this is actually a, a really hard one for me because I love them both. Um, but I, yeah. if it's a good oven baked mac and cheese with that bread breading on the top, my goodness, I, I gotta go with that. I gotta yeah. go with it. But see, I'm with Chad here because I don't think that I would have ever considered mac and cheese a Thanksgiving I side dish. Like I, I, I do. Well, when you think of it as like the baked, like the good baked ma- oven baked mac it's and cheese, a, that's it's almost it's almost a casserole than, at that point. Right? I mean, right. it's it gives a little bit more, more credence than a regular craft mac and cheese. <laughs> that's that's fair. All right, that's fair. We're moving on to dessert: pumpkin pie or pecan pie, or <sighs> No, pecan pie. It's pecan so pie. Much, Thank you. With so much whipped cream, you can't see the pie. Oh, hold on. Let's not talk. <laughs> yes. about, let's not talk about whipped cream yet. Whipped cream's later. Let's 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 just talk <laughs> no, about. No, you, you can't separate. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no. no, no. Literally, you, you cannot the separate. The pie. Look, if, okay. you if you can't okay. eat, if you can't eat pumpkin pie without whipped cream, then you don't like pumpkin pie. That's what I'm saying. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's like saying if you can't eat macaroni without baked cheese on top, then you don't like pasta. No, because that is a dish that is created together already. It's like saying if you have to pour like soy sauce and whatever all over your fish, then you don't like fish. Except for culturally, <laughs> most things aren't served pumpkin pie plain. So we, we, we make them synonymous. But it is created plain. It is created plain. A la mode. All right. Hold on. We got all out. We got all out of our area here. So KY says what? KY said what? KY said it didn't matter because it's covered in whipped cream. Pumpkin. So whatever it is. Okay. Pumpkin. 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 I still choose plain pumpkin. <laughs> Oreo, are you still there? I'm here. I said neither. 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 Oh. My yeah, I'm on the same me. train as Oreo. Neither. What? what? Oh. Tad, save us. <laughs> pumpkin pie all the way, 100%. <laughs> no. Um, with my name. I'm not a huge <laughs> pie fan, except for like apple pie. I, oh, I'm okay apple, with apple pie, pie is my favorite. But... Uh, but Matt and I are both going to say 100% pecan pie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Pumpkin, but I don't hate. Rocks. I don't hate pumpkin. I just, oh, I hate that's pumpkin. That's not my favorite. Ugh. That's my second choice. Okay, well, let's move on to the most important part then, whipped cream here. Are we using normal whipped cream or are we using Cool Whip? KY. Oh, like the... Yeah. Or the tub. Yeah. Which one? The... I get some phlegm in there, Matt. Back of the throat. Like like you're speaking French. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. Or Jewish. There you go. (laughs) Whipped cream. Uh, All right, so whipped cream then. Is what you're you're going for? You're not in the tub. Yes, yes sir. All right, Oriole. Um, either one's fine with me. No, that's not how this works. Oh, you gotta pick one. Yeah, <laughs> the first one out of the can. <laughs> I'll let you say neither, but I won't let you say both. All right, <laughs> Grayson. Am I allowed to say my grandma's homemade whipped cream because it's super good? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, if you're gonna be, I mean, it's I mean, it's with cream. Still, about it. Hold, 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 I don't think she's listening. Hold on, let me just call her really quick and yeah. watch the <laughs> tab. Uh, I buy a can for myself. So yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's one. how it's done. A can per person. It's it's part of the Good table man. setting. Everybody gets one. <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. It's, it's not happening. bad, honestly. Mo. Oh, the tub yeah. all the way. Cool Whip. I love Cool Whip. Okay. I will lick the lid. Yeah. I, oh. Cool Whip is nothing but 
just like chemical Whoa. it's not, there's no cream in it there's no nothing it's i'm, just, a, I'm okay. a product of america in the 80s what do you expect <laughs> it's, it's it's a concoction it is not a a a, a food in my mind yeah well or can't to wait till uh, thanksgiving my, this is my first Thanksgiving being dairy free, so I might have to go tub this year. Oh, I don't know. Yet. I forgot Ooh. that you were dairy free this year. Yeah, so, yeah I was dairy. I was dairy free for, I think, till sixth grade. Since, since ninety three. I think dairy free since ninety three. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even born you in ninety three. I'm just realizing that. Yeah, oh, oh, it hit us at the same yeah. time. He wasn't born in ninety three. We were yeah. we were in our our quote unquote young adult Bible study uh, this past Wednesday, and we have two new guys who who joined from the military. And they've they're single. They've joined our church, and um, John, our worship leader, who's younger than me by quite like Mo, Mo and I, younger than Mo and I by quite a few years. He's telling a story that took place in two thousand ten. And one of them said, oh, cool, I was nine. And I, the whole room nearly, like, just keeled over and died right then and there. I'm like, oh. I was five. We're old. It's depressing. <laughs> Technically, I'm not even supposed to be in the young adult group anymore. That's the, the sad part about everything. Young at heart. No, uh, no, that's what those weird old people say. We're not them. Thanks, we're not no, those weird old lie. people. That's what I'm, we're not them, KY. That's not us. We don't say that yet. Uh, right. We've still got like a good 20 years, okay? Thank you, everybody, for joining in on the the uh, the fun here. Have a good Thanksgiving, guys. Thanks. Happy, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Keep watching because we're going to have a crappy Thanksgiving right now. <laughs> Love y'all. Uh, Okay. All right. Okay. I don't want to do it. I we don't want to do it. We gotta. What the heck are you saying there, Gail? Gailey? Mo is... Oh, I read that. I read that one word wrong. Mo is hip and fun. <laughs> hip, hip. And. Hip and fun. I yeah. I read another word in my mind. I'm like, what is happening? Okay. Well, I guess it's time. Uh, each week. When we record podcast stuff on Twitch, we also have a special video-only taste test segment. But today, both audio and video versions alike will experience our horrified reactions as we taste test this year's edition of Branches Thanksgiving Dinner, or Turkey it's Dinner. It's not Branches, turkey dinner. it's this, Brocks. Sorry. Why do I want... You do that every sorry, brocks. time. It's Brocks. There's no N, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> brocks Turkey Dinner Candy Corn. I've always thought branches in my head. I don't know why. <laughs> I've always seen that my whole life. Oh, Clearly, man. it's got to be one of those Mandela effect things. Like, Probably. You know, simulation yeah. theory. We talked about it. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So this year's lineup. Oh, Kaylee, get out of here. This year's lineup is a cranberry sauce, green beans, stuffing, turkey, mm -hmm. and the two new flavors this year: apple pie and coffee. <sighs> Uh, and this is also the order that we will be in enjoying these. Uh, I'm gonna give. Uh, we're each gonna get you a spit say cup. Enjoying very loosely. No, Listen, really you know what? I, I want really you to take your it. cup <laughs> and I want you to throw it in the trash because we're gonna finish them. Uh, we are gonna do can, it. You can correctly. throw your cup in the trash, but I'm not committing to that. <laughs> we You're both spat one out last year. Different yeah. ones. All right, you get one spit. I spat out the uh, one stuffing spit, one. One spit, that's it. One spit, that's it. That's the rule. <laughs> Hashtag one spit, that's it. <laughs> Mo spit out the turkey with, oh, with a vengeance. Was... She spat that out. She was so, so upset by it. She was I'm like, having an out-of-body experience. Listen, I'm already <laughs> getting goosebumps. <laughs> just reliving it. Like, rethinking. Oh, he... <sighs> Lark just wrote, my parents had been married more than 10 years by 2010, which means they got married in 2000. Oh, Matt. What? I want you to take this into consideration. What? We got married only five years after Lark's parents That's got married. What I'm <laughs> yeah. Lark, Lark could easily be uh, one of our children. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. We knew okay. we were gonna cry tonight, but we didn't realize. We thought it would be, we it would be in pain, like physically, uh, not emotionally. 
Okay, we're gonna do this now. Oh gosh. Let's start with cranberry. Cranberry wasn't bad. It was just overly sweet, if I recall. Right? There we go. We got this. Nice red. What? Got? Why is got? Uh, got? What? Twitches. Wait, you got it. Listen, stop talking and just explain Twitches. it. Twitches. Banned words are so stupid. It banned, it banned got. got. Yeah. As a like a as as like a, a offensive offensive sexual term. It's so weird. Are we saying something that we don't realize we're saying? <laughs> I thought when you got got, it's like you I got, got hit. You got hit. You got punched. Yeah. Got got. got, got. You know what I mean? Not mean. All right. You gonna get got. Are you ready? No. This is just a cranberry. It's easy. Okay, here we go. Uh -huh. Actually, this is pretty good. I think this is better than last year's version. I like this one. Yeah. Ooh, it kind of has like a cotton candy flavor to it at the end. Yes. It does not taste like cranberry at all. It doesn't all. taste like cranberry at all. At all. Hmm. That's pretty good. I like that one. Okay. Okay. Well, that's going to be the last one. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right. Green beans. Ready? Here we go. Here we Ready, go. Ready? Green beans. <laughs> Very grassy. Oh, gosh. Tastes like nature. Ugh. It's like... Imagine butter, uh, buttery grass. That's what this tastes like. Yeah. That is a very good description. Uh-huh. Uh, gross. But still not terrible. Still not terrible. But see, this is where it's bad because... Last year, last year, stuffing and turkey were the last two mm -hmm. on the list. But mm -hmm. now we're already at stuffing. Yeah. And stuffing was the one that got me last year. I got got by you stuffing got got? last year. Uh-huh. Okay. We're doing it? You ready? <laughs> oh, I, I, I worry about this more than I worry about, like, the one chip challenge. Like, I am braver eating something super spicy that I know is going to ruin my day for hours than I am for the 60 seconds this is going to be touching my tongue. You realize that is the dumbest thing you've probably ever said. I'm honest about it. I would rather eat two in succession hot chips than this. You have <laughs> lost your mind. But they won't let me anymore. My, our Discord friends have refused to let me have any more hot chips. Are you ready? I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I know. Joseph. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> this is awful. This is not stuffing even a little bit. This is like freezer burnt celery. That's what this tastes like. It's disgusting. Oh, it's so bad. Stop talking. <laughs> I'm really trying to get. You just gotta do it. Do it. <laughs> that was gross. So gross. Oh, I didn't swallow it! Ah! It got stuck in my mouth! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> that was so terrifying! It's so bad. Oh gosh, it's so bad. But there was like, mm, there was like a, a little hint, little wave 
of like a note of like like a caramel or a butterscotch kind of kind of flavor in there, just a hint of it, and I was clinging to that flavor <laughs> to get me through chewing it. Oh gosh! But every time you would talk, <laughs> like freezer burnt celery, it, it tastes it's like, like freezer like burnt celery. Living human that flesh. That first, yeah, <laughs> that first flavor that hits you is freezer burn. Oh. That's that like. Uh, uh, Ah. <laughs> Are we sure this is turkey? Sure that's not apple pie? Look at this list again. <sighs> yeah, that's turkey. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. This is the one that was killing you last year. Yep. It tastes like... Last year, like I got through it. Last year, you, <laughs> you turned to me dog in food. panic and said, how? Are you chewing it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> they fixed the flavor from last year. Mm. That's way better. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Listen, we got people watching, so I got to talk. Mm hmm. It's way more uh, sweet. I was disagreeing with you. Oh, it was way more sweet than last year's was. Last year's was like straight animal food. Donkey butter. But this was sweet. This had... It's a little sweeter. A little better. Unless we got the wrong one. Was that apple pie maybe we just Oh, ate? crap. <laughs> it didn't taste like apple pie, though. Well, none of these really taste like what they're supposed to taste they like. They really don't. <laughs> I think that they made a mistake by putting coffee in the bag. Maybe. Because they all have like a... A little bit of a coffee. Yeah. Okay. Coffee is a strong... Hold on. I got to I gotta sip my flavored soda water. <laughs> uh -huh. I just did a... <laughs> that was inadvertent. Bop, 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 bop. Ready? Yeah. You can't smell it. I can smell things. It's supposed to be apple pie. Right here. That is apple pie. And that wow. is delicious. That is I amazing. Say delicious, but. Oh, that is delicious. It's not bad. No, oh, that is so good. It's all right. Okay. Okay. Hey, you know what? I'm surviving. That was awesome. I think we're through the worst of it. That yeah. was. Oh, man. I'm going to pull out all the apple pies. Coffee. Last one. See? It tastes an awful lot like the turkey and the cranberry sauce. Oh! It's oh, strong. Oh, it got real bitter real quick. Yeah, it's strong. But I really feel like they made a mistake putting coffee in the bag because everything has a coffee flavor <laughs> it's so bitter oh. I actually think it's too sweet to be oh. coffee but you know some people drink their coffee black okay hey. around here no spit no spit no quit hashtag no quit no spit whoop, whoop. man but that stuffing one that's the worst one. Stuffing one was the worst this year, yeah, for sure. Apple pie, coffee, <sighs> cranberry sauce. You're putting turkey. coffee above the cranberry sauce? Yeah, 100%. Nah, nah. Apple pie, coffee, cranberry sauce, nah. turkey, Got your mind. green beans, stuffing. That Got was best mind. to worst. Mine, fool. Turkey, <laughs> turkey bumped up. So many points this year from last year. Got the turkey bump. Turkey bump. <laughs> All right. Well, we survived, and we're going to take one more break. And when we come back, we'll share some things that we're thankful for. Stick around. 
<coughs> hey, I'm surprised at how well that went. Okay, good job. We said we did it. All right, hey, uh, everybody in the chat, if you have yet to put in your exclamation point dibs, do it right now in the chat. Um, so you'll get a, uh, an entry into our giveaway. Because uh, if you weren't here, we are giving away multiple things. Uh, we're giving away multiple stuff. <laughs> our third, our third uh, prize is a stack of stickers, including a brand new one that no one else has yet except for us. Uh, second prize is going to be the last ever Sunday School Answers LTNCon 2021 booster pack. Like they will, there will be no more. We have one final printed version, and uh, this is the last one. And then, and yes, the last one, the. Winner First prize is it's the rest the of these <laughs> jelly turkey beans. dinner leftover. Not really. You're gonna win. <laughs> oh, I said jelly beans, <laughs> jelly candy beans. corn. You're gonna be. You're gonna. Whoa, it's upside down. Sunday school answers, Christmas edition, the full game coming your way. First place. So we <laughs> and have. And we nine. might really throw in that re the rest of those candy corn. Actually, that'd be really funny. <laughs> uh, so we have nine entries so far. So I mean, those are good chances you're gonna win something. And if you're a subscriber, your chances of winning are doubled. So, subscribe for prize. Bing, bing, bing. That rhymes better <sighs> in my head. <laughs> subscribe for the prize. Yeah, and subscribe for the prize. Shush, you. Subscribes. Sh shut your pie shut, hole. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> Uh, also, we are going to have another taste test exclusive to you guys uh, at the end. And this one's going to be very interesting. That. It's going to be very I forgot interesting. forgot about that one. So we actually still need the cups. I have another cup, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's going to be fun. <clears throat> Did you see Hector's today? Hector's? Hector. No, what did he do? He did a, the ginger snap. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't see it. I don't want to hear about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last segment of the show that we're recording. Welcome back to the Back Room Morning but, Show. I'm sorry. No. Welcome back to the Back Room Thanksgiving Special. I didn't change that on any of them. But I... But... No, because then it says, uh, as we close out our Thanksgiving well then, Special. Well, then just say, welcome back to the show. Okay. Okay. All right. Because that's confusing. Welcome back to the show as we close out our Thanksgiving special. It's still your line. It's been a fun <laughs> celebration, and we've loved having our friends be a part of the fun today. But before we go, we wanted to share what we're thankful for this year. <laughs> I am thankful that Brock's changed their turkey <laughs> flavoring on the turkey candy corn. Hands down, 100%. That is like top of my list, what I'm thankful for <laughs> this year. Um, no, but aside from the obvious, my husband and my kids, um, I'm incredibly thankful that unlike most states, New Mexico does not require you to have a college degree to be a librarian. <laughs> Where are you going with this? Yes. Um, because I have absolutely loved my job this mm -hmm. year. I've loved it. And anywhere else, I wouldn't have been qualified to be the librarian. So that that for real is top well, I mean, of my list. If we're talking about qualified, I don't know if that's... You're just not, you're just not like particularly negated from having the job. <laughs> I can't tell if you are giving me an insult or yeah, a compliment that one, that right one, now. Yeah, that one. Okay. Insult. <laughs> Qualified's a strong word. That's what I'm saying. You're a jerk. <laughs> Let me hear what you're thankful for so I can... Crap all over it? Yep. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Uh, I mean, of course, I want to say LTN in our group, but, you know, we, we fawn over you guys all the yeah. time. Uh, yeah. And we did that in our 400th episode a few uh, couple months ago. So I'm not going to do that again. You know we love Sorry, you. guys. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I'm, I'm thankful for my daughter, for Natalie. Can't crap all over that. No, I can't. I can't. That, that's a jerk move. Jerk move. Uh, she... 
She was uh, bored very healthy, has continued to, re to remain healthy, uh, and has been very nice to me in my first week having to watch her by myself during the whole day while my wife goes back to her day job. Uh, and so I'm, I'm thankful for that too. <laughs> and you know what? I can't crap all over it, but what I can do is I am sending her vibes right now. And so next <laughs> week is going to be a crap show. How about that? <laughs> She's going to crap all over you. Exactly. How about that? She's mm. going to crap on you. A lot of blowouts uh -huh. for you. Yep. Uh, I also want to, uh, put a special note of thankfulness for my, my mother-in-law mm -hmm. who, uh, who she did pass. She did pass away this year, uh, not too long ago in September. Um, but it, it is really, in the in the few months since then, it has given us a lot of chance to reflect on just how much she did mean to us because we're seeing that void now uh, in our lives. Just just how much she filled in for us, and uh, I'm grateful for all the many 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 years I got to be a part of her family, and uh, can't wait to see her again one day. Yeah. So. Those are the things this year that I'm lifting up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, end with our verse for the day. Oh, our verse for the day is Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That is going to do it for our show today. Be sure to check out all of what we do online at lovethynerd.com. We've got amazing articles on all things nerdy, as well as this show, LTN Radio, and our other podcasts and videos. If you'd like to directly support our mission and become a financial partner with Love Thy Nerd and specifically with LTN Radio. <laughs> Sorry, the candy Take a corn. Breath. Candy corn came up. <laughs> Please visit lovethynerd.com slash partner. And you can choose LTN Radio from the drop down menu. Love Thy Nerd is a qualifying 501c3 nonprofit organization, and your gift is tax deductible. Remember that we air first exclusively on LTN Radio, LTNonair.com, every Monday through Thursday at 8 a.m. Eastern with an encore at 10 a.m. But if you miss a day or just can't catch the show live, find the Back Row Morning Show podcast version on Spotify, Apple Podcast, etc. Subscribe, rate five stars and leave a review do it and we'll be incredibly thankful for you <laughs> now we are taking next week off as we prepare to kick off the christmas season we'll be back to record our new shows on twitch friday december 3rd with our next next batch of shows starting to air on december 6th and we should be with you all the way up through christmas eve eve december 23rd which will be our season seven finale mo final thought i'm thankful for you matt <laughs> oh that's nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm thankful for you too, Mo. He's such a jerk. <laughs> I don't even know why I, I... I'm thankful that you make it so easy for me to... Be a jerk? Get laughs. <laughs> All right. Punch me. No. Giving you one free shot. Mm -mm. One free shot. That's it's not how go one away. free shot works. It's going to go away. Oh, no. I'm gonna, it's going gonna, it's gonna to expire. I am the possessor <laughs> of the shot. It doesn't just go away. You just wait. <laughs> <laughs> it only counts. You don't see it coming. That's exactly so you right. You can't tense up. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep. Oh. Uh, that it's you. Yeah, I know. I just mm -hmm. don't want it to end. Oh. Once again, I'm Radio Matt. And I'm Mo. And remember, if nobody else tells you, we promise it's true. Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you, nerd. nerd. All right, Twitch, don't you go anywhere. Twitch. Because we got one more segment for you. Yeah, and then we got to do the drawing, of course. Oh yeah, that's Don't right. let me forget to do the drawing. <laughs> I'll end the stream and nobody will have won anything. <laughs> Oriole, if you are still out there, you are <laughs> in charge. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's fine. Ugh. Guys, we are going to do a triple layer Mountain Dew taste test. Three... Three Two. special Mountain Dews. Yes, Tad, that's all that you're going to get out We're of excited. us. We're in excited about Actually, it. you know, here's a fun fact for you. Fun Matt, fact. Matt is actually a very good artist. A very good, like, caricature, not a caricature, like, what, what would you call it? I, I don't it's know. It's not caricatures. It's like cartoon characters. Shut up. Don't be dumb. <laughs> Don't say... Listen, you have I, already told the world that you weren't thankful for me. 
<laughs> and now you're going to make me look like a liar. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I am. I did not say I wasn't thankful for you. I just didn't say anything. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I, 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 I doodle well. Let's put it that way. You know what? I'm Hold a top notch no. doodler. We're stopping this whole doodle conversation right now because I got Facebook messages that say differently that you are thankful for me. So if you want to continue being a turd, I'm going to pull up those Facebook messages. I'm going to pull up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did we? What? What? What did, what did we? There was a thing that we were coining last year, and I can't remember what it was. Like a, a saying. Like oh, a. Oh, hold on. Do you remember? Papa Bill. Papa Bill. <laughs> I'm a Papa Bill. I'm a Papa Bill. <laughs> you better Papa Bill for some gas. <laughs> Yo, can I get a ride? You better Papa Bill. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> All right. So here's our lineup. Uh, We've got. Mountain Dew gingerbread snapped. Oh, I didn't. Okay. That's right. You didn't. I didn't. But now you do. Yeah. You get your own one of those. Okay. <clears throat> so we got that. That's first in the lineup. <clears throat> That's the gingerbread same thing. Gingerbread snapped. Then we had a, a, a friend, a nice friend from LTN. Uh, I don't think ever listened to our show or anything, but it was very nice to send us uh, two cans of thrashed apple. Mountain Dew, which Mo wanted to try, and I believe is only available at Kroger stores. It's only available at a certain store that is nowhere near us. Uh, and this is Brandon Crosby. Uh, Crosby. Brandon Crosby sent us these, but those were like a bonus. What he really sent us was a single can of Mountain Dew Flaming Hot. Can I just tell you, I'm having a really hard Gosh. time right now not saying. Something about Brandon. That he's crazy. Mm -mm. Okay, what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man! Biting my Thanks, tongue. Thanks, Brandon. Let's go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just kidding, guys. Uh, that was a good one. Right. That was a good one. All right, let's uh, let's give it a shot. Gingerbread, Gingerbread snap, snap first snap or thrashed first? apple first? I say thrashed apple. Thrashed apple, because that's probably the one that we're most likely gonna enjoy. You think? I don't think so. Okay. It seems like a rel relatively normal flavor. This is more Thanksgiving-y flavor to me, and this is more Christmassy flavor, and that's more I'm gonna die flavor. <laughs> so, Thrashed yeah. Thrashed apple. Clink. Clink. Ah, oh, that's yummy. Whew. I am not a Mountain Dew fan at all. At all, but this is this is. That's um. What is the flavor? It's the. Don't you dare say apple. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the. Um, you know those caramel apple suckers. Yes, it's the that's apple exactly. From that. Yeah. It's not bad. I drink that. Yeah, that's good. Maybe not all the time, but I drink it. I put it in the rotation. <laughs> that yeah, that's delicious. 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 All right, gingerbread snap. Now, we talked about this on the show. We announced it in our junk food. And I talked about the reviews saying that it kind of tastes like just cola because the flavors in it are, are very similar to the actual spices they put in, like Coke and Pepsi. Did I just, I need to know, did any of y'all see Hector's taste test today of this one? Did he like it or not like it? He did not like it. Okay, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Whoo! Whoo! What a smell that is, huh? Holy That's cow. gingerbread. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's give it a shot. It's kind of like someone poured Coke and Sprite into the same glass. Oh, but you get a real back hit of gingerbread, nutmeg, or whatever flavor. Do you feel that in your throat? Can you get that? It tastes like the uh, the end of a sip of eggnog. Okay, so for anyone who had the cinnamon Coke, this it, it's it very like similar yeah. to the cinnamon Ooh. Coke. 
Yeah, there's a bit, there's a part of it I don't like. Yeah, and I think that that's like the the Sprite kind of flavor yeah. that's in there. Yeah, that's the kind I, that's the bit I don't like. It's almost too it's a little soury, a little fruity. Yeah, it's yeah. almost too fruity to be paired with the ginger and the cinnamon. Yeah, but it really does taste to me like someone mixed Coke and Pepsi together, or Coke and Sprite together. For the most part. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Broad strokes. That's what I'm. That's, yeah. That's what you could think. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. <laughs> but no, I prefer the apple. I don't the, like it. The thrashed apple. <laughs> You'd drink this bottle if it was the only beverage available to you. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. I would too. If I had to. But I wouldn't choose it if I had the option. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> One win. One not so much. Mountain Dew, flaming hot, y'all. Caution, flaming hot taste. I'm nervous about this because I mean you're no you're no stranger to the flaming hot flavor, but I've only had it a couple times based off initially taste test from the show. Yeah. And while it is like you know kind of spicy, it's also very vinegary. Spicy. Right. Yeah. 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 So I'm not sure yeah. how that's gonna work. See, I wish you wouldn't have said anything because <laughs> oh, I wasn't it is even so orange. It is so orange. <laughs> so, fun story. Cannon had to do his first pee test for athletics <coughs> with the high school. Yeah. Mm. And he said that one of the kids that peed along with him, like his pee was, he said, Mom, it was like orangish brown. And I was like, that kid needs to drink some water. That kid is dehydrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy. And I was like, oh, is that what that means? Yes, that is yeah. exactly <laughs> what that means. Oh, man. I'm nervous. I don't smell anything. You don't smell? I smell flaming hot. Let me see if the... Open cup helps the aromatics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is weird. <laughs> Sip the can or sniff the can. Oh, yeah, you can barely smell anything at all. Yeah. yeah. Weird, yeah. Do you want the cup or do you want no, the can? No, that is really <laughs> strange. No, that's all for you, yep. dog. That's all you. <laughs> all right, here we go. <coughs> okay, I feel kind of... Oh, yeah, that's hot. That's hot. <sighs> it's not bad, but it's definitely... Yeah, it doesn't taste terrible tastes weird okay i'm gonna pour into the cup because i feel kind of bad that like but it caught me like right away like that first drink is just <laughs> the first little hit in my throat <clears> throat> oh you can feel it in there Ooh, that is such a strange feeling <sighs> heat and carbonation at the same time it's yeah very weird <sighs> do you want to know something though this might be my favorite. Your favorite? I'll admit that I like Out it better these than three, the gingerbread yeah. one. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's way better than the gingerbread one. Way better. But it's also strange. I would be uncomfortable drinking it. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's mixing the apple in with the flaming Hot. Are you going to go for all three? No. I dare you. After this sip, let's do all three. Oh, smell that. Oh. What is happening? What is happening? That smells so good. Doesn't taste as good? No, it, I mean. It's fine? Yeah. <laughs> All it's... right, put in gingerbread, come on. Ginger, flaming hot ginger apple bread. <laughs> <laughs> Thrashed flaming hot ginger apple bread flavor. All right. <sighs> Put it in a case. That smells gross. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. That's nasty. Put it in the candy corn. Heck no. Heck no. Mix it with the candy corn. Oreo cheered a hundred bits to get you to do this. Do you want to know something really weird? Is it good? It kind of just tastes like regular Mountain Dew now. What? <laughs> like, all the flavors. Okay, like... hold on. Give me. <laughs> I don't Here. care which one it is. Oh. 
<sighs> okay. It's weird. <sighs> Tastes like normal Mountain Dew, huh? There's a little bit of heat there hot. from the flame and hot, but it Gingerbread tastes like bread and thrashed apple together. While I'm doing this, if you have not yet put in your exclamation point dibs, do it cuz we're about to do the drawing. All right. What on <laughs> earth is happening? <laughs> I told you. Isn't that weird? Like you feel it a tastes little... so much like regular Mountain Dew. You feel a little bit of the heat from the flame and hot. Like yeah, I can feel it the lingers. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, I feel I could taste like all three individually, kinda, but at the same time with them all together, it tastes a lot like normal Mountain Dew. It's strange. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. They cancel each other out. They cancel each other out. So all you got is the Dew flavor left. I guess. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. That's so weird. <laughs> that heat, though, I don't like that. I can't do the flaming hot. You can't. I couldn't do it. Oh, no. I like the heat. It's getting me in my. My cheeks are getting red. It's getting me in my chest. Cheeks are getting rosy. DJ J Chain, five hundred bits for hot Cheetos taste test. Um, we've done hot Cheetos. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Willis? What you talking about? We did those super extra flaming hot, like pepper shaped Cheetos before. Yep, and I, all that hot. I was made into a. A GIF. GIF. A GIF. Uh, I was made into an image. A moving image. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, Just here the burping. For the show. Oh, no. The burping and the flaming hot is bad. Oh, that hurts so much. That's like manufactured heartburn. You know what I mean? Sure. It's like I drank heartburn and then I burped it back up. <clears throat> <sighs> I wonder about you sometimes. I wonder about me too. All right, guys, okay. let's do a uh, let's do a drawing, huh? I'm I'm still like. It's very weird. It's a mind bender for sure. <sighs> Show up that dope T-shirt. That's right, Batman, baby. Batman. Batman forever. Never leave the cave without it. Um. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where's my my thing here? All right, and it's been running for exactly two, two hours. hours. Wah, 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 On wah. the dot. <clears throat> we have nine entrants still, so that's all we got, guys. So if you didn't get it in, you missed it. Missed it. <clears throat> all right, all so we're going to draw three names. First name is for the third prize, and that is for a stack of sticks. Stack of stickers. Uh, we'll throw in a candy corn. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Every prize gets at least one candy corn. <laughs> Uh, stack of stickers. Here's the first winner, and it is drum roll, please. Lark. So uh, I'll send you. I'll send you the at least the few stickers that you do not have because there are a couple still. Congrats, Lark. <clears throat> I'll take the bag. <laughs> All right, here comes second prize. Second prize is the. Final ever, uh, final ever LTN Con 2021 booster pack for Sunday School Answers. You do have so many stickers, you're going to have more. All right, here we go. It is Grayson. Grayson, you win this. Uh, we'll throw some candy corn in there, too. <laughs> All right, final my, my prize. My chest is starting to hurt. Yeah, I'm telling you. Final prize is uh, we do need to do... We do, I, I've, Look, okay, hold on. Before we do the prize, <laughs> Lark threw it in the chat that we need an It's Fine sticker. Eventually, Sticker Mule is going to do a deal again where you can make some sticker sheets for cheap. <clears throat> and my plan is, as soon as they do that, to jump on it and make a sticker sheet with at least a few of our little emojis on it. They'll be small stickers, but it'll be cool. All right, here we go. <clears throat> a handful of candy corn in like the styrofoam packing peanuts. Yeah, just maybe. All right, here we go. Sunday School Answers Christmas Edition for our first prize winner, whom is... Drum roll. Thank you. My drums got worse. Longer. Longer, please. There, this is the I final can't... prize. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Mod! <laughs> Brother Mod! Brother Mod! Brother Mod! You just won yourself a Sunday School Answers Christmas Edition 
box coming your way. I will Hooray! be in, in touch with all of you about getting your addresses. And uh, I'll send them your way. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we'll throw some candy corn in there, too. <laughs> you know what, Tad? If you really want the rest of this candy corn, I'll send it your way, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just for being here for the first time, being on the show for the first time. You deserve it. That's right. Consider that and the grand. And jumping right into... <laughs> Arguing on Discord right. the first time. Consider, consider that your uh, your grand prize. <laughs> you part of the family now, bro. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's uh, that's gonna do it. That's the show, guys. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for uh, spending this uh, early Thanksgiving with us. And uh, this show again will air on Thanksgiving Day, like four times throughout the day. Uh, and it'll also be the podcast version. So, you know, you can check that out, hear yourself on the show, uh, laugh again. Uh, we'll put the video version of this too up on Thanksgiving Day. And uh, yeah, like we said, it's gonna, we're going to take a little bit of a break. You know, we already took a little bit of a break. We're going to take another little bit of a break. Um, this is kind of like our pre, Don't hate. this is like all the other podcasts for LTN take a solid break, November and December. They're gone. Yeah. Okay. Or not. I'm sorry. No, December and January. They're gone rather November is when they end. <clears throat> and we try and fill in as much as we can those two months, but we still are supposed to take off that same amount of time. <laughs> So we get those out kind of leading up to December, and we'll take maybe two weeks off in the middle there, that last week of December, and that first week of January, and then we'll be back. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's why we're taking a bit of the time off. Spend some time with our family, focus on um, some other projects. I got to build a lot more TikToks because I'm way behind on our TikToks yeah. for uh, the morning show. Because yeah, I ain't helping <laughs> you at all. <laughs> we got some Sunday School Answers stuff we got to start building because uh, we got a whole bunch of uh, new booster packs and stuff coming out. Yeah, we've made it all the, the way to the end of the year. We got to start thinking about what we're doing in 2022. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Where did 2021 uh, go? I'm telling you, like yesterday <laughs> it was Halloween and it's already Thanksgiving. Uh huh. Yeah. Like it has gone by so quickly. I told my wife, I'm like, I don't think we're gonna put up Christmas decorations this year. Like we'll get the tree. I don't think. And I'm not saying it's a decision we're making. It's just. Not I'm gonna saying happen. Uh, it's gonna be Christmas Eve, and we're gonna be like, oh crap, we didn't put anything up. Okay, listen. <laughs> as long as you are not going out Christmas Eve night to buy Christmas gifts, okay? Because you know a stomach bug might hit, and you might not be getting your kids any Christmas gifts if you wait. <laughs> We've already done that. Already. I. See speak from a place we buy of most of, yeah we buy most of our gifts and stuff in october for like everybody i've got your gift gifts already i have one of yours but <laughs> anyway uh <clears throat> yeah we're done christmas shopping for our kids too nice it's easy <laughs> when you get them what we got them oh yeah mm -hmm. you take the cheap way well it's not cheap <laughs> but you take the easy way out. definitely not easy Taking the easy way out. definitely not easy nope mm -mm, we're mm -mm, so excited mm -mm. yeah super excited you want to want to let me spoil it <laughs> you want to tell me like i spoiled last the last one no, not even a little bit. <laughs> not even a little bit. It's over. I already knew. Don't worry. Well, Mark. that's the thing. Like, <laughs> he even watches these back. Does he really? So Aww. there's no way Topher. that I can even say anything Thanks, because Topher. he's not here in the... Yeah. I'm glad that he still at least watches, even though he doesn't watch live anymore. Because mm -hmm. he's a punk. He's, he's made a whole punk. lot of new friends online and wants to play yeah, games. Whatever. Whatever. Hey, we're going to drag this out too long, so I'm just going to end it now. Let's raid somebody. Lark, who should we raid? Who's on? Who's on? I can't see. Who's on? Such a punk. Such a punk. <laughs> yeah. It's a fact. He's a punk with a big head. He's doing the esports thing at the school, and he's like number one. Oh. In Frost. Yeah. Is Frost on Frost Channel, or is Frost on Love Thy Nerd Channel? Yeah, Lark, that's what I said. You need a raid. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be lurking. You should be listening. <laughs> All right, Lark or Oriole or whoever, start a uh, raid for Frost for me because I don't remember how to spell his channel. Okay, but you got to pull it up. I'll pull it up. Fine. I'm needy. <laughs> uh, I don't have co-op trio in my list, so we'll do Frost. 
I'll go ahead and start it. Nobody else is. Oh, it's already coming across. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> I am on mobile. I have lag. Look, I don't want to hear your excuses. <laughs> Frost bite. Stick around through the raid. Ah, wait. Did I do that? Who started that? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Lark. started I barely Lark, made. we love you. We're <laughs> thankful for you. Happy Thanksgiving. You don't have permission to start a rain? I'm sorry, Ariel. I'll fix that. Please um, do. Or Lark will fix it. <laughs> she thinks it's her show anyway. <laughs> anyway, stick through through the raid. You'll get an extra 250 points, channel points here on this 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 channel uh, to use for, for fun things in the future. Um, I'm ready when you are. Go ahead. Jesus loves you, nerd. Thank you again. Happy Thanksgiving. Shabai. Bye.